Hello everyone, and welcome back to Temptations of Aitse. We've got a new layout here that I've been working on, getting all set up, so now everyone can actually see the, uh, the stats of all the characters and get, a, get an idea of what everyone looks like. Um, to just begin with, uh, when you look at those, uh, except for Veerdrick, we're actually getting his worked on at the moment, um, but mm -hmm. underneath Zadim's Navara and um, Demea's, there's a Twitter that is linked right there. I'm just going to quickly shout that out at the beginning. Uh, if anyone's looking to get some commissions done, cute little chibis Jesus or Christ. more, uh, Goodness are, have are to wonderful plug me every single time. I'm, I'm going to plug you. Oh, I'm going to plug you. <laughs> hey, fuck, man. You don't got it. I'm doing it anyway. But yes, she she does commissions. Uh, she, she's very embarrassed, but she has amazing artwork. She does it for really good, and she, she, she deserves some love, and I'm going to make sure she, uh, you know, has a very least gets a shout-out. If you guys oh, do, I just, you know, l l let her know I sent you, or, you know, just say, hey, I watched the stream, and I was wondering if I could get a commission. Uh, that way she knows where you came from, and if not, if you don't want to, you know, let her know, and just be like, hey, I'm just a random person who wants to get some art done. <laughs> she, she'll probably just be like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> as, as everyone is wont to do. But yes, uh, so, you guys ready to go? Ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We should introduce ourselves. So, uh, starting oh. from the top in the uh, chat, go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. Uh, first and foremost, I am your host, the Uncommon Guru. The Uncommon DM. Yeah. Darrow! <laughs> Is it me next? You're still yes. on top! <laughs> This happens every time. The top, yeah, like, the top, the top, top of, of the, the game time. Yeah. <laughs> I swear, okay, when no. we're professional idiots, we know what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. I have Taru. I play as um. You know, the moment I started it, beer drink. <laughs> and uh, I'm a. I'm Yes, and you actually should see that on the screen right now. She is the uh, the gnome oh. knight paladin. Oh, wow. So cool. It's my <laughs> turn, fellas. <laughs> Hello! It's, it's, your, it's your boy, I mean, I'm playing Demea. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> As one does. As I, one does. <laughs> I like Hello, everyone. One of these. Oh, sorry, you go, you go. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, hello, I'm Adrino. I'm playing Zadim. The Azamar Ranger. I'm being licked to death. <laughs> <laughs> what a good opening. <laughs> Paris can't show anymore. She died. Rest in peace. The dog standing on my kidneys. <laughs> um, I am Paris, and I will play be playing Nivara, the Elven Warlock. Get Sorry. off my tits! Wait, I didn't say my class or my race. Yeah. Which uh, thankfully uh, we have the little cards now to help people know exactly what your uh, class and race are. Cool. Really yeah, all I know is that I'm Demea. <laughs> uh, I'm Demea. I don't know. Welcome what I'm... MTV. Welcome to my crib. I'm gonna open with one of those. I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on you. I swear to God. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, just remember everything that I, you're saying will eventually be posted on YouTube without me. That's wait, totally fine. <laughs> well, That's absolutely lines. fine. People need to know I'm a piece of shit. All right, let's get you, going. You're not a piece of shit. You're just you're just comedy gold yet untapped. But in the meantime, <laughs> let's get started. So when last we left off, our group of adventurers had been making their way up into Halo, uh, the city to the north of Cromundum. Uh, as they were passing through, they started to notice that there was a series of obelisks with names engraved into the sides of them, uh, each of which was containing a variety of names, names of people who had been long buried from the city of Craven Hollow. Making their way down towards this area, they realized there was several cracks that allowed them to actually slipped down and after fighting with a few zombies that had been rising up they made their way actually down into an area that allowed them to have access to it after a brief confrontation with Lord Windjaw and fighting some more ghouls they came across a few entities who have been a great boon to them so far Demea, the tiefling bard and Veerdrick, the paladin uh, eventually they made okay. their way into the castle itself, whereupon they were met by a, a ghostly apparition who happily led them to the dining chamber to help cleanse the darkness from Lord Windjaw's estate. And after a vicious bout and with a good old smiting to the chest, as is wont to do with paladins, uh, they were able to defeat 
and remove Lord Windjaw from uh, this palace this and from this mortal trap. Um, afterwards, uh, the party did actually do some uh, downtime where they messaged me asking for a few things. Uh, so after getting implacably lost for a little bit, Zadim like, eventually yeah. found the armory. Uh, he rolled a natural one on investigation and had himself You're basically over just... Eight. He was just over there. <laughs> he was just like, where am I? Oh, I'm sitting on the outside. The Hold on. He managed to make his way back in. Uh, he eventually <laughs> made his way to the armory, which had been uh, partly collapsed by the uh, sinking of the city into the ruins. Uh, but he did find a few things in there, uh, including a elven chain shirt and a few other things if you'd like to let all the audience know what those were. Yeah, sure. I found three light throwing hammers, which are really good for me because range is kind of my deal. Oh, yeah. I okay. found... Let me see... Uh, the light hammer, the chain shirt, I found some short bows, which don't really do me much good because I already got a long bow. I found, I think, oh yeah, a war hammer, which, pretty big, pretty meaty for a weapon, not exactly my style, but I could use it if I wanted to. I might give that to Beardrick, just because strikes me as the kind of guy who would appreciate a good hammer. He would. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be absolutely right. Yes. Let's see. Three pairs of scale mail. Some dwarven studded leather armor. Two war picks. And some dwarven breastplate. I think home. that was it. Um, most of it, which is dwarven for the armor, uh, is non-magical, as I mentioned before. The only thing that mm. appeared to be magical was the elven chain shirt, uh, which will help to accommodate you know, anyone's body that it's placed upon, and uh, even for those who aren't normally accustomed to wearing medium armor, can it, it can be worn by them. Um, the dwarven, like the dwarven breastplate and stuff, you'd actually have to get someone to actually work with that to make it fit one's body type, which would cost you part of the cost of the actual armor to have it done so. Uh, but if you were looking to have like a, a breastplate or something like that commissioned, uh, it would be much less of a cost because you actually have pieces of those already. Mm -hmm. Or you can just sell them. Yeah. So yep, you have all of those. Um, also, uh, they did find uh, a few little items as they were going about uh, one of which was a, a headband that Ixius was like hey this will be really funny put the headband on Bright Eyes the the Ranger Griffin and gave the Griffin a 19 intelligence <laughs> my opinion is officially smarter than I am smarter Sussies. but doesn't you know doesn't know things it's, it's like basically having a 19 intelligence as a three year old Yep. You're not gonna know a lot. You're still gonna you're still gonna seem pretty pretty silly when it's just like, hey, investigate these things. You you find all this stuff, but it's like. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, this is much. not this is not the awakened spell. It does not uh, mm -hmm. automatically gift a language to them. She's just really smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some more, maybe. But yeah, so you guys are still underground, still in uh, Lord Windjaw's estate. Uh, is there anything else you want to do before attempting to head out, or is there anything else you are uh, wanting to look at? Well, we never did get to the throne room. We should probably check that out. Yeah, that can't hurt. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, so you all make your way in towards the throne room area to give that a quick check out. You guys are free to wander about a little bit slower. Uh, as you're doing so, actually, um, what is your passive perceptions? Let's see. I believe mine uh, is 15. Mine is also 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, in, mine's 12. Okay. Uh, 11, I think. Okay. Um, so Zadim and Naivara, uh, you guys actually have just enough passive perception not to have to make an active perception roll. 
uh, as you guys are walking down the hallways, you know, just kind of quickly peeking through to try and find the throne room, uh, you guys do notice a few things as you're walking down. Uh, one of those things that you notice is that there are uh, a few bodies that look like they were in a position of uh, some kind of animated movement that have quite clearly crumpled and are laying on the ground as though they were like mid-motion, froze up, and then crashed. Are they rotten? Um, from the smell of it, they're a little bit rotten. Most of them look like they're decomposing rapidly. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> Delicious. Not really, but yeah. No. Uh, in fact, there's actually a little bit of um, like a fleshy powder is the only way I can really describe it. That looks like it's just like falling off them and Ugh. just like... Tsh- okay, never mind. That's not delicious. No. Fleshy right. powder? I don't like that. No, it's not meant to be delicious. This is what they, I wish it this was. Is what they make powdered milk out of. <laughs> no! That is... Oh, don't yeah. spread oh, these oh, oh, no, 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 no! 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 It took a moment! Oh! No! no, no. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of my good Christian server! <laughs> this is my server, though. Oh, boy. Not hard to get out of this good Christian server. <laughs> um, is there anything about them besides just being bodies? Uh, if you wish to investigate them, you can. Sure. I'll, inve- I'll investigate. I'll take one half, he takes the other. How about that? Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna have Arcus help me out here, because holy fucking shit. Okay. Yeah, I'll help Bright as uh help a bright as I out to. Um Dawn, can I randomly start playing the flute? You may. Yes. I uh, roll a performance check. Performance check. Uh, had... Wait. Should it have been investigation instead? I mean it's the same it's the same modifier. Same modifier? Okay. Yeah. As long as it's the same modifier. Um uh, as you guys are searching about you just hear um you hear the little the little tones of the flute being played behind you. It sounds like she's a little nervous. Just you know, just kind of play, like playing the flute. Do, 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 do. Compulsive <laughs> flute playing. <laughs> Compulsive flute playing. Yeah. Um, for what you guys find, um, Zadim, you notice predominantly that they look like they're. It's less that they're decomposing uh, rapidly, and so much that time is actually catching up with them. What might be a better way to describe it? Um, Naivara, you actually like take like a your quarter staff and give it a little nudge to flip one over because you're like, I ain't touching that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Naturally. Which as you do so and you see like one of them like just like flop over, uh, Arcus kind of leans forward and in Sylvan says, oh, they look like they're look at their some of the people we saw before. You think if we go downstairs, the other people will be like this? Probably. I mean, everything dropped when we killed... I love the fact that all of these people are hearing me speak Sylvan, and the only one who understands, by the way, is the eighth mark. <laughs> 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 it was probably being controlled by Windjaw being alive. He must have been some sort of talisman, or the source of all of their energy. Catalyst. The catalyst would have been if he was the one who, in being brought back, brought them all back. I mean, how do we know that's not what triggered it? We don't. I think they're all his subjects. Technically, it could be. Until we find out who brought him back and ask them, we won't. I don't think I want to find out who brought that back, because that means they're stronger than he was. That is true. Probably someone we should avoid. Uh, are we heading up or down? Uh, you're kind of heading basically parallel. You're you're okay. on the same floor. Uh, which eventually, after you you notice all these and you take a quick peek at them, uh, you make it to the throne room. Uh, the area has faded and worn-looking blue tapestries uh, with a what looks like a, a side profile of a face looks dwarven. Uh, with three lines that are probably meant to symbolize like a uh, wind going across the jawline uh, instead of a beard, which likely is the representation of their uh, 
lineage, which some of them are not uh, the Windjaw symbol. Other than those of them are uh, from different uh, other people. Most of those you see are charred towards the center of them where their symbols would be uh, leading up to and away from the throne. So the only ones that are intact are the Windjaw. Hmm. Seems the lord of this castle did not appreciate those who are not of his family. I mean, he was so stubborn to stay alive, that doesn't shock me at all. This is true. I'm gonna head up closer. Okay. Uh, what are you looking at or for specifically? Because uh, right now there's the awesome. throne room, which is on a raised dais. Uh, there are two rooms behind it, uh, one off to the left, one off to the right. Uh, there are pillars that are leading down the hallway. Some of them are a little bit faded, but most of them, they're, it's dwarven construction. They're really good at what they the, do. I'll go to the... You said there were two behind the throne. Yes. Uh, Just, uh, one on the I'll left, go to one the one on the left. left. Okay. Uh, and you, check for tra- like I'm checking as I walk for yeah. traps just in case. <laughs> roll, uh, roll and invest. If you're like checking like thoroughly or just like passively, like you're just kind of thoroughly. Thoroughly investigation check. Can I have Arcus help me? Yes. <laughs> okay. It could have been worse. Uh, looking, yeah. Looking around, you're like, okay, just keep my head up. Don't see any traps. So far, so good. Uh, walking through the door in the back left uh, you enter uh, an area that it looks like it's got a, a few other places that, that it can go to another uh, two pathways uh, but it it's a I wouldn't say exceptionally large but it's a it, it's the size of a decent sized room uh, with a variety of different uh, very faded um, very worn looking clothes uh, most of them feminine in nature uh, this was likely for her uh, ladies in waiting, or uh, the you know Lord Windjaw's wife might have you know attired herself. Hmm. I'm going to look through them and see if there's anything salvageable. Can I also look through that? Okay. Uh, you came in with her. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Can I look through the room on the right? Okay. Um, we'll get to you in a second. Yeah, take your time. Uh, looking through. Uh, most of it, like in terms of like salvaging the actual. Uh, okay, well material. here let, let's let's look at it this way. Mm-hmm. Is there any way that I could take any of these and repair them, kind of salvageable? If that makes sense. I get what you're saying. She wants to wear them. Or you're damn them. right. <laughs> one, of, one of the two. I get you. I, I'm leaving options open for you. <laughs> uh, but in terms of these, uh, these are quite old. Uh, make a make a wisdom check. Or no, and, or an intelligence check. Either either one of you. Which um, well, uh, would I get advantage if I know clothing? Uh, you don't have proficiency in weaver's tools, so straight roll. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. That's the other game. Outlander. Yes, <laughs> I have proficiency in weaver's tools. One second. I just need to remind myself because I'm pretty sure she's right. But and I, it's not that I don't believe you. It's just like. We have so many games like, hold on, is this the one you're proficient in or is this the one you're learning it? Because there's a difference. I'm learning with Meg. Out, out, Outlander, out, out, Outlander. Language, tool proficiency, one musical instrument of your choice. Did you choose instrument or tool? Tool. All right, we said we swapped that out because you're like, instruments aren't my thing. I want to I wanna be able to weave. You just weren't part of a guild. That was it. So you, yes. you can make a, oh, and you can make that with advantage. Do you want me to do Weaver's Tools or Intelligence? That's... If you're doing Weaver's Tools, it will be a straight check. If you're doing uh, an Intelligence or Wisdom check, uh, that would be with advantage. Yeah, fuck it. Basically, you're choosing between proficiency or... Sage. Uh, yep. Uh, yeah, you're you're looking this over. Some of it kind of feels like it's fraying slightly in your hands. Uh, Demea, you're just, you're just kind of kicking your feet. just like, man, this is this is really cool. A lot of cool stuff in here. Yeah, uh, just a bunch of old dresses. Is it okay if I like take one and try to put it on? Uh, put it on over your current dress. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean I don't want to get undressed in front of someone, so right, sure. Yeah. Um, My eyes are covered. <laughs> the, the all whole, right. Whole, if she's gonna cover her eyes, then uh, I'm gonna put you it even, on for Before you. you even do that, just with a ten, you'd be able to know. It's not your body size. I mean, you're you're small and whatnot, but. This is made for a dwarf. This would probably come, like, 
above your knees with like the waist like under your ribs like it it, it would be like all out of proportion for you damn yeah so it wouldn't quite fit can i do that anyways <laughs> oh my god <laughs> can i like try can i really try to squeeze in it you you can attempt to so you i'm uh, totally would, going to uh, attempt to she you, you she covers her eyes and you just quickly and throw it on uh it's it's not dusty uh, surprisingly, but then again, there's not a lot of uh, dust here, even with, you know, the dirt and such like that. There's not been a lot of activity to uh, stir anything like that up. You put it on. Uh, it's a nice uh, grays and browns, very earthen tone, very dwarfish. Uh, it again, it comes up to where it's like just below your knees because you're you're short. You're just like okay, so it's a little little longer than I expected, and it's like just underneath your ribs, so it's not like super pinchy. Uh, you decide to forego any corsets because it's already a little bit uh. A little tight. Actually, no, it's a little loose. My apologies. Um, I'm thinking body types here. No, you're, you're, with your body type, no, it'd be a little loose around there. So you could put on a corset and it would probably fit you reasonably. Loose? But uh, it's a little loose. Like, uh, in the sense that like when you're putting it on, it's bigger in uh, the fact that, you know, it's the stomach chest area, which you're, you're getting it fit on just so. And it's it's a little awkward. It's like it's definitely not made for your body type, but it, you you could potentially make it work. You just need someone to actually you know finagle with it. All right, uh, I'm going to turn to Nightmare and be like, "Okay, you can then cover your eyes. How do I look? How does she look? Is it as adorable as I think it is? <laughs> it's as adorable as you think it is. Like her legs are like bare. Uh, she's wearing shoes, of course, but uh." Like you, you can see like the lower parts of her legs, and she's like holding. Like I imagine, I imagine that she's holding her arms out, like to be like ta da, and it's. Yep, exactly. It's like very loose around the top part, and you know, it's slightly tightened the waist with it just, you know, straight up and down, because kind of poofing out a little bit. You're totally gonna see that chomp. <laughs> the chomp. <laughs> she chomp here. She she she's got a little chub to her, you and it, it fills it out you. just enough. You look amazing. Oh, <laughs> Yep, yeah, it needs a little. It, you need to move like the waist of the dwarven uh, part of it down so it actually fit her waist. But otherwise, it's passable. Let's take that and I'll fix it up for you. All right, um, so that it fits even better. Also, really? with the, with the uh, wisdom and intelligence check, you can see there's probably a good five other dresses that you could do this with. Also, Don, I have a question. Answer. And I could be wrong. You let us take feats at the beginning of this, didn't you? I think I did. Yes. Uh, in that case, then I took the prodigy feat, which is why I have proficiency in weaver's tools and a harp. Okay, there I don't know if that was just go. me, but everyone went silent for like a second. Yes. <laughs> you're, right you're when I asked, can I turn them all on? <laughs> um, you can turn them on. Uh, I want to go ahead and say, if, you, if you're willing to spend that much time probably best to wait till later but that's just you know as a dm speaking if you as a character want to be like i just want to try them all on i mean you'd have to talk to exactly. Nightmare about that exactly um how about we just take them all and you can try them on once we get back to the surface all right oh okay thank you and she's gonna hug my yep. <laughs> um, very awkwardly hugging back <laughs> yes all right give a tight squeeze and then be like okay cover your eyes again i'm gonna get dressed in my normal dress now I just imagine before she could even react, Arcus just immediately covers her face <laughs> with his wing. Just, uh, yes. Also, I I realize this now. Um, I meant to put that you're a half drow Atlander, and I put that you're just a full drow. That was a mistake on my part. I am the one who put the words there, and I I did the I did the hecking up. My apologies. Yes, yeah. heck. <clears throat> it's okay. Everyone does a heck once in a lifetime, and of course, oh, um, sure. I'm going to get dressed in my regular dress, my nice big poofy one. Of course. Uh, meanwhile, Zadim is looking around through the right side, and that one, uh, far more masculine looking. It's definitely meant mm -hmm. more for the Lord himself, like if he needs to, you know, uh, change Pretty a tire man. or uh, grab anything else, uh, this would be the room he'd do it in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's even a little um, little central area that's raised slightly. It looks like a little circular area with a few mirrors uh, on one side. They're a little, little faded, but... They're still serviceable. Uh, probably where he'd like stand and have people like set on his armor for him, because uh, you do see a few scattered pieces of uh, 
armor that are just like laying around in very specific areas like I said they were set there uh, purposefully but other than that uh, just from a glance around you don't see anything uh, just passively out of, uh, out of place okay uh, can I make an investigation check or a perception check uh, perception check or investigation check your choice okay let's see it's gonna be perception can I can zoom I into the room he's in? Bright eyes. You're currently getting, you know, put. You're currently putting on the dwarven dress, so no. Oh. This is happening at the same time. Okay. Can I just ask Bright Eyes to, if she sees anything interesting? Okay. Just uh, take it out. We haven't taken a long rest yet, have we? Nope. Nope. <sighs> okay. Why don't we take an eight-hour rest in this dirty-ass just... zombie-infested castle? Making sure. <laughs> um, but advantage? Uh, on site based checks, I believe um, Bright Eyes has that, but if you're doing it with her, she would be giving you advantage. Yes. I just imagine Bright Eyes trying to fit into this fucking room, and all and me and I hear from the other room is. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got an 18. Okay. Uh, with that, as you're looking around, uh, you notice that there is a few things that are not necessarily out of place, so much as it takes you a moment to look at them and realize that uh, they're not precisely where they should be. Uh, those being when you look at one of the... Uh, one of the dressers, uh, there's a fairly thick lock into one of the drawers uh, uh, that the other ones do not have. A lock, you say? Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> you gonna break I another dagger? For a key. <laughs> First of all, it was an arrow. <laughs> Second of all, I've learned my life. <laughs> <Messy> now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> but yeah, let's see if I can find a key. Um. With that, I'll say we can uh, just have you looking around. Currently, just looking, just looking around currently, uh, you don't mm -hmm. see a key. Okay. I will see if I can try and investigate the room, find the key. Okay. Uh, roll investigation check. Can I ask Bright Eyes to help me? She because will be I'm helping you. Okay, cool. Woo! Hey. That's a 19. Uh, it takes a little bit of work, predominantly because you're not sure what you're supposed to be looking for specifically. Um, mm. But eventually you start just moving a few things away and you see that there is a... Uh, there is a book off to the side that uh, looks... A little, again, it's one of those things that's just like, it looks just out of place because it's one thing that's not uh, in a kind of perfect order. Mm -hmm. Which, as you move that to the side, you see that. Excuse me. Uh, you see that it appears to have a slight indentation uh, in it. Which, as you flip through, like the first pages, like they're fine, they're normal pages. But as you flip through, eventually you hit a part where, like, you're flipping through the back part, and you feel like a solidness to it. Mm -hmm. Which, flipping back to those pages and just kind of flipping it out, you see a little cling to ding 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 as a key falls out. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it'll fit in that. Mm. Alright, you try it out. It's a little rusty, a little... It takes a little bit of turning to get that just right, but you, you jimmy that up and it pops open. Sweet. what I find? Uh, you find in there a up here I have my notes there it is uh, you find a bar of silver whoa whoa I thought I was going to say a bar of soap <laughs> you bar find of silver. a bar of soap it's more likely that a dwarf would have a bar of silver in their drawer let's <laughs> Let's be honest here. He's right. Um, with 
engravings on it of the Winja symbols. Mm -hmm. And a ruby. Oh, that crap. is looks like it's on a uh, a necklace type thing. <laughs> type thing. It looks mm. like it's a necklace. It's a ruby necklace? Yes, it's a ruby necklace. Alright. Interesting. Kinda peek at that. Okay, uh, you peek at that. Uh, it it's a ruby necklace for sure. Uh, is there any way that you're looking at this specifically or see if there's like uh, like there's a lot of like a something you got you can turn or just looking it's, over it's and a solid ruby. Like, oh it's a solid ruby with like one of those um things that you got on the top and then it yep. loops into the like this okay cool cool all right uh i'll take these out uh anything else in the room that i notice uh just offhand no mm -hmm. okay uh i guess that's it and then i'll walk out and I'll start examining the throne proper, I guess, because we haven't been paying much attention to that. Okay. Um, looking through the throne room, uh, you, you're you just kind of being very passive, just being like, you know, just looking it over. Mm -hmm. um, the throne room itself is pretty standard as far as thrones go, though you haven't been in many to be... Uh, <laughs> Very much like, yes, I have been in throne rooms. This is how yes. a throne room should be like. <laughs> this but is right. Like, it's, he's a mountain man. Yeah, you're a mountain man, but at the same time, you've you've been in areas that have had people of prominence. Mm -hmm. And this has all of the ornamentation, all of the, uh, I wouldn't say signs of, but I'd say that they're the... All the symbols of power that you're used to. You're, mm -hmm. You've seen people like uh, of power who, granted, not necessarily people of power who have what's the word I'm looking for? Um, humility. <laughs> oh dear. Dwarves aren't generally humble, so that sounds about right. Yeah, <laughs> but at the same time, yeah, dwarves can be humble it's just that these ones this one certainly was not there everything mm -hmm. here is meant to show off i mean i have their diary i could have told you that <laughs> yep. right you, you could have but you're also currently helping uh <laughs> you're helping demaya get all of the um all, all of the <clears throat> excuse me clothes all the clothes put together thank you so much we're like desperately putting them in our bag. Put them in the bag. Put them in the bag. Put them in the bag. <laughs> we need. It, we need. It. <laughs> we need it pretty. We need the gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. So basically, what you're telling me is, Windjaw and his folks were kind of like snobby. Just based off the um, appearance of the place, you'd you'd imagine that. But I think that the actual term you'd probably feel would fit it better would be prideful pride everything better. like all the other tapestries are destroyed in some manner or another to kind of remove uh, any other house except for one at the very end of the hallway uh, which is the uh, the face of a it looks like a dwarf uh, with a hammer and a fist clenching the hammer like the ha hammer heads uh, to the side of the fist. Uh, roll a religion check. I thought you we were going to say hammer and sickle. I was about to say, rush it! <laughs> oh, hammer, <laughs> hammer with a fist holding it under the face of a dwarf. A very nondescript dwarf, but a dwarf. You're not sure who that is, but he looks... He sh boy, does he look important. <laughs> That's the best description at ever. Any celebrity? I right. point out the dwarf, mm -hmm. and I say, "Anybody know who that is? It's uh, the only person here who's not a windjaw, who's not that their face destroyed." I mean, does he want to call me in? Uh, you're still getting some stuff. There's still Virdrick, uh, Ebrin, and <laughs> Dixius are still here. Uh, I was you, gonna say. Yeah, if you wanna, unless you're looking at something else. Um, not really. Okay. <laughs> I'm just, kind of just standing there. Would you like to roll a, a history check? Yeah, I'll, 
I'll do a history <laughs> check for whatever that thing. History or did you say religion? A religion. History or religion. Oh, well, I'll go with religion. Can we say that Axius was helping her? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know why it says advantage, but... Uh, yeah. You may have had advantage on another, another thing. We'll say Ixius was helping you. Is uh, Basically, you, he's like, anyone know what this is? And he kind of leans over, just like, talking to you about it. And eventually, you both kind of look at each other. And between the two of you, I'll say that uh, eventually, it's Ixius essentially helped kind of leading you along to the kind of the realization that if all the other tapestries are destroyed, but that one's not, that person's probably meant to represent Seaz. S E A Z. The. S E. Okay. Yep. Uh, he is the what what is uh, referred to as uh, the founder of the world, uh, the stone shaper, yep. mm -hmm. as well as the. Uh, God who permitted life to be gifted to certain creatures, as well as the creator of the first quote unquote intelligent life, dwarves. Uh, at least according to dwarven lore, if you ask any of the others, they say that, you know, they were created first and that Seiya's then fashioned the people after uh, everyone else. But, you know, it's one of those lore things that people are like, no, no, we were created first, which. You'd have to ask the guys themselves, and they're being mum about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I. Are you yeah. eating me? That is. Oh. Question. It would make sense that this one's not destroyed. Hmm. Yeah. Ebrin also just kind of nods, just like, "Yep, that that's a god, all right." <laughs> he got a 16 minus 2 poor boy that's Rip. still, than that's still pretty good like damn uh, also you came out with the uh, the gem the ruby yes I did I will show this to everyone and say do you make of these my friend his eyes go sparkly can I, <laughs> can, can I? Mm -hmm. of course point. he ge very gently very kind of reverently takes it just kind of like it's just look at it it's got really well my child. <laughs> I, I, I need to. Can I just? Obviously, it's going to take me some time to you know, get actual value out of this. But, jeez, this is. Uh, at this point, uh, you would come out. Uh, you see Ebrin looking at this ruby, like it's like he's cupping it in his hands, like he's holding a child, just like, or like actually, no, like he's holding, a, he's, he's holding like a baby bird in his hands. He's just like being very gentle with it, just curling it, just like. Are we are we oh, almost yeah, done with our uh, clothes thing? And yes, then you are. Zadim, who's just kind of casually uh, lofting a bar of silver in his hand, like it's an apple, just kind of like. What the there. fuck are you so, doing with that? Two <laughs> shiny things. Uh, Demet is immediately going to run over and be like, "Whoa, shiny!" I know, right? This is oh no! <gasps> oh, so pretty. I'm pretty sure these belong to Lord Windshaw based on the fact that there's his house engraving on. I'm pretty sure they're for the ruby. Also belong to him. Must he engraved be. his insignia on a fucking piece of silver. I mean, it I makes sense. No, it is yours. Yeah. He was a dwarf. Put your name on it. Ix just okay. kind of nods in the back and like, I mean, it's you know better that he didn't you know make his own currency out of it because you know some people are like, oh well, if we get this currency, it's gonna be with that. Imagine having seven different kinds of currencies through seven different ages. At least dwarves had you know long enough lifespans to actually make it worth anything. <laughs> Navar has just picked up his fucking um, diary and is just reading it. <laughs> okay. I'm still uh, looking around the throne room. Nothing else. Can really I ask Ebrin out. to okay. put on? Can I? Can I ask him to give me the necklace so I can put it on? He, he kind of blinks. He's just like he. I, I mean, I I'm, I'm gonna have to look it over first. It's, it's you know, it, it's something. It's it's. Uh, I, I I love gems. Oh, and I, I really, come on, Evren. Just let the pretty lady wear it for just a bit. 
at least let the man appraise it first. This is what I asked him to do. Yeah. There we go. There's everyone. Everyone cut out again. What did you say, Don? What did he say? He's saying that uh, I, I, I'd like to, but I just, I just, yeah, like, ra- he, like he's like he's wrapping the um, the band for like the necklace part around his hand, as though he's like trying to keep it in his hand. He, he looks very anxious and antsy. But he's like, I mean, I, I guess just for a moment wouldn't wouldn't hurt I me. Mean, you, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I just want to try it on. I'll give it back. I promise. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. What? Question. Okay. Huh? What? What? I, we I, I... have seen many people in this castle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We what? have seen the butler. We have seen that strange woman who screeched very loud. We have seen many servants. We have seen guards. We have seen Winjo himself. Who have we not seen? It's. We have not know. seen Lady Windjaw. Oh. There is a room right oh. over there, oh. specifically for the Lady of this Manor, and yet we have not seen her. The Lady of this Manor would not be left by her husband in the ground if he could raise her up. Why have we not seen her? He might not have wanted to. Maybe she's shy. Maybe we have not seen her yet. Or, very well, we could have. The woman on the lift. No. No. I have a feeling that that was not the lady of this manor. She did not act like one of royal blood. Doesn't always mean a lot. Mm. When you're, you know... I mean, I mean, she married into it, maybe, but I mean, everyone kind of like scratches at his neck and is like, I mean, maybe we can just need to find like their chambers. I mean, if Lord Windjaw was still alive, he'd have had those kept up to date and whatnot. And if, you know, there was a, a Lady Windjaw, maybe, maybe it's up there. Maybe, Could have maybe very well possibly. not locked his wife. Possibly. Uh, while everyone's talking, can I try to sneakily take the necklace? Put it on my neck. Uh, he, he wrapped the band around his hand like twice. So I'm gonna try anyway. <laughs> uh, so, so, so you start kind of like gently tugging at it. Uh, he like you just like you just can feel him like his. You can hear his head like turning. Like, and he looks at you slowly, just like. <sighs> all right, all right. Hold, hold, hold on. He, unwra- He's like just kind of moves your hands off, slowly unwraps it, and he just like just takes it, holds it out. Clips it around your neck. It's a little heavy. It's probably weighs about a pound. Actually, come to think of it, the butler moved on when we were done with the Lord. Maybe the lady had already moved on. That's what I was thinking. You can't resurrect without the soul's consent, essentially. Mm-hmm. I mean, why would the other zombies come back then? They Those are zombies, though. Lord. They're soulless. Uh, we, we, yeah, we, all right there. Yeah. Um, huh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, everyone just kind of rubs his neck. Just, uh, just she kind of, kind of makes a little motion to Demaya. She looks good. Yeah. Yes, um, she got a little red very rock. nice. It uh, contrasts her dress very nice. Yeah. You think so? And she's gonna look down and rub the gem. It's really pretty. <laughs> And then I'm gonna turn to everyone and be like, do, "Do you want it back now? I just, I just wanted to try it on." Yeah, I, I want to appraise it. I want to see if there's anything fun about it. Cause sometimes with these, these gems, like kind of motion, he like picks it up. He's like, sometimes there's, you know, little, little things about them that, if they're not cut right, they lose their value. And if I don't spend time appraising it, it like someone else might call you out on it. And you know, I don't want people to make, you know, try and be like, "Oh, well, you're." You know, the person that you had get praised this was a fool. I'm, 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 I'm a lot of things, but I just is this a pride thing? A little, yeah. It's dwarven pride. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. <laughs> you're, you're not a fool. And she's gonna like ruffle his hair and then attempt to take off the necklace. But I'm gonna say that she's struggling, <laughs> though. Yeah, he he has it in his hand, so you don't have to struggle as much. And all you have to do is just unclasp it. And if you're struggling, he'll be like, oh, hold on, he no. like, unclips it for you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. He takes it and he this is adorable. puts it in his pocket. Don't worry, guys. I gives a thumbs up. Make sure that it's you know all taken care of on my end, and then 
we'll be all set. But in the meantime, uh, are we looking for the 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 quarters? Are we are we getting out of here? What are we doing? What are we doing? Exodus is just reading a book. Can I <laughs> can I, I hug him while he's talking? You hug him, yeah. He like okay. as as you do so, he like absentmindedly just like places a hand on your shoulder, looks at you, and just like oh, I yep, yep, I puts a hand on his hip. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> <laughs> you alright there? Gives a thumbs up behind her back. You sure about that? Makes a wishy-washy hand. <laughs> Makes like a, well, eh. this, this is a very interesting place. I'm at least intrigued. We'll see what it has to offer. Take our leave. I mean, to be fair, I need to find a library in the next town over because this, she's gonna hold up a journal, could be worth a lot for historic records. Yes, but imagine what the library of this place much hold. Yeah, everyone holds up a hand. I should have asked the butler! <laughs> everyone holds up a finger and then slowly, just, like, his eyes wide and just like, Dwarves are very good about record. Hold on, he's like, he's like, hold on, he's going to roll a history check because he's like, hold on, I, I, I should be able to know this. I should be able to know this. Dwarven, he, oh, there you go. Good thing he had advantage on that because he he would have had uh, a natural one. Natural one. one. <laughs> yeah, he only had a, has advantage because it's um dwarven in nature, and he knows stone. So this was actually a stone thing where he's trying to figure out how they would have set the stone for creation of a library. And you mm. just see him like his like his eyes like glaze over for a second, and for a moment you're just like, oh no, is he gone? And then he slowly points down where he's just like. Oh, he's gone, right? He's gone full math, lady. And, and you just see equations <laughs> moving, and then you just see his hands slowly begin pointing up. And up and up and points upward upstairs Has we, he got, broken? We, got, we, we got to go upstairs <laughs> is he <it> broken <laughs> um, emmy um you, you see him yeah. turn and because you're are you still hugging him oh as of right now yes <laughs> you, you feel you feel something against the back of your leg as suddenly he kicks your legs out from under you and just puts you up into basically bridal style. It's just like, we have to go up. And he's just carrying you just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Very Can quick dwarf that? boy. <laughs> suddenly, very quick dwarf boy just got to go upstairs. Going, basically taking um, him up two at a time. Just boing, I'm boing, 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 boing. I'm going to okay. fall out. So Let's go. It's, it's like it's a just... metal detector. <sighs> Uh, you go up uh, a whole flight of stairs. He pauses and then he's just like, you just like, this, again, calculating, calculating, calculating. Runs up another stairs. Rerouting. <laughs> Rerouting. Possible. Uh, possible miscommunications. Processing. 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. What are we ding, looking ding. for? Uh, he, Books. Uh, the library. Uh, you go up another two stories. Before suddenly he pauses, he sets you down. He's like, I'm so sorry. I should let you walk. I just, there. Oh, wait, come, no, come, come, come. Over here. Everyone, I never took you for a romantic. You just swept her off her feet like a damsel. He almost <laughs> oh, so like She's <laughs> giggling. Giggling. Very much so right now. Because you did to see you. You see me. Let's go this way. He hey. broke! Oh, uh, well, thankfully, he broke right outside of a, a very large doorway, uh, which uh, does not look to be locked. It uh, looks to be quite openable, actually. Uh, which, if it is locked, I'm about to break it. <laughs> he he puts his hands on it, grunts softly, and begins to push. I give him help with that. Uh, you get on the other side and push the other door. And you see a massive library. <laughs> Navarra has taken off. <laughs> um, she she as excited as she is, uh, you would. Just with a passive perception, you see that there are holes. Naturally. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> where, not where they've been destroyed, but where they've been removed. What? There are holes in various parts of the library where. No, 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 no I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused, mm -hmm. however. How many holes are there? A lot. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Fuck, damn it. Someone's already fucking. Someone stole my books! <laughs> Not your books. And then Grim Jaws. Technicalities! <laughs> uh, there are still uh, a large number of books on the shelves. Probably uh, at least a hundred. That's a lot of the books. <laughs> Can I look through them to see if any of them interest me? Um, I'm investigation looking... check. I'm going to have Marcus help me in my own investigation. Okay. 9-11. God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. 
Pass. I will also be looking. Okay. I'll we'll just take a checks. look around too. Okay. And straight roll for. Alright, Vidric, you're here. This is. It's dwarven lords. You know, it's, it's got a few things that, you know. <laughs> There's just books. books. It's whatever. Yeah, you, books. God, this is oh, a man, book. I don't need these. <laughs> you, you know what books are. It's not like, oh, what is it? What is this? Is this a dove? <laughs> I was about to say, is this a pigeon? He's like marching towards like a bookcase. <laughs> no. No, that would be if you got a natural one. <laughs> but, I would have died. Uh. Looking at them over, uh, there's not really a lot of books that like stand out to you. Uh, uh, there is a book that, uh, after a moment, like you like you go past it, and it, essentially you go around in a circle three times before you pause in front of it. You're just like, it's like glance over at one book. Just uh, you, Vedric. Okay. Because you have oh. the, the lowest. Uh Basically, I'm going from lowest to highest. Now, okay. Rose is going to call out as she, like, looks around the bookshelf. Keep track of history, records, or trashy romance. I like trashy romance. Beardrick <laughs> 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 um, is not going to look for trashy romance, eyes. but everything audibly. else. <laughs> uh, what are you looking for, Beardrick? Uh, everything other than the trashy romance. <laughs> 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 Tara, you know you love it. <laughs> hey, I do, but Veerdrick isn't into it. <laughs> of course. Does, does um, he read? <laughs> Veerdrick, you, as you're looking over the books, and again, you go through, like, a single shelf, like, three times, just basically standing in front of it, just like, well, this is empty. And you're, like, standing in front of a book of, like, five books, you're just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. I, I, I like yep. you. You like you look books. at the books. You're like you like. Yep, they're books. I, I'm, they're not those books. So as long as I stay here, they don't have to worry about it. Eventually, you kind of pull one off just to kind of like look through it. Uh, <laughs> it looks like it's a uh, a book about. You actually have to pause as you like look through it, and then close the book to look at the title again. Uh, do you read Dwarven? Uh, I don't think so. Let me check. Um. Uh, Dawn, while she's doing that, add a character question. We're that. gonna find some porn mags. We'll see. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, out of character, I can promise you, you're probably not. This is a library. This is a damn this it. is a good Sayas library. Look at the bedroom for these things. <laughs> um, <laughs> regardless of whether you speak Dwarven, if you don't speak Dwarven, you can't read the title. Uh, but the thing that makes you like close it and look at it and be like, wait, what? Is as you're looking through it, you see uh, some art where there's like showing images of certain things. Uh, one of which shows a dwarf that's being been drawn on some kind of lizard-looking creature. That okay. looks like he's like mounted it. It looks like something about mounted combat, or maybe it's a history. Th you're not sure what exactly it is, but it's. It's definitely something you've never seen quite before, at least with mm. your experience with uh, looking at or speaking with dwarves. This is not something that you've uh, heard much about. Mm. Seems interesting. Yeah, it'd be interesting, that too. I'm gonna hold on to that and show it to someone. <laughs> someone! <laughs> uh, currently, I think the only one who speaks dwarven is Ebron. Yeah, I'll have to so, go and show His Ebron. ability to read is mostly only okay. dwarven. He can't read common. Ah. I, I I think the only people who have, like, a shot of reading this successfully, the people who have comprehend language. <laughs> yeah, and it would take you some time oh, to do so. shit, I think I have that. Yep, but that's a ritual spell for you. Well, I think, you know, I think you can cat No, no, it's a ritual spell. Right, right, right. Uh, I'm trying, I'm just trying to remember anyways. Anyways, moving on uh, to Naivara. You're like, I want to look for these things specifically. Come on, and you have just Arcus flying over to look at some of the higher books as you're looking at the lower ones. Eventually, you just hear him going, Arr! and in Sylvan, you hear you hear like this also this kind of this melodic. Everyone hears the melodic thing, which only uh, Zadim and Naivara hear as being, "Ooh, this one looks neat. I wonder if I no, no." I'm I was legit <laughs> expecting you to say he pulled out a book and I got brained in the head. <laughs> no. Hold on. 
boy. You gave my tears. No, he, 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 he doesn't pull it out and brain you with it. He does pull it out, but he, he, he catches it and he has it in his arms. He's, you see him kind of like, flies down and just sets it down next to you. He's like, found it. Look, look. Taps it. What? History. Good boy. He just scratch his head. <laughs> Ooh, you see his leg just thump, 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 thump. Um, looking at it uh, it's it's fairly old history uh, most you're, you're guessing that's predominantly from the dwarven perspective but at the same time it's still history and as you kind of look it over uh, not using comprehend language right now uh, but just looking it over it does have uh, glyphs that show uh, approximate years which looks like this covers a span of at least a hundred years Ooh. Wonderful. He's like, I can show you where, I can show you where. Like, wiggling his tail, like, hey, hey, I can show you, I can show you. Show me. He flies on up. Uh, you take the book and follow. Uh, he lands next to it, just kind of like motioning to it, like, here, 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 here. Uh, as you look at it, um, make a... Make an intelligence check. Just straight intelligence. This will be fun. 17. Okay. Well, <laughs> yep. Better that the 17 than the 9. I said straight yep. intelligence, but you it, that's still 17. 1, 2, 4, 4, 6. A few of these are missing. Which they are. Yeah. There's, it's more than one. There's like maybe four of them that are missing. Uh, but it's basically like one, two, four, six, seven, eight, ten. I mean, I'll take the ones that are there. Fuck. Okay. So you take those. Uh, just mark down that you have uh, the ones missing are uh, three, five, and nine of a okay, set of, of a uh, collection of ten. Hold up. Sorry. What are you doing? Stop that. I, not I don't know what it's doing. Device. It's highlighting something for some reason. I can promise you, it ain't me. Uh, Did it fix it? Are you fixed? I don't think you are fixed. There you go. <laughs> okay, so what should I label these? Dwarven what? Uh, dwarven history... Uh, novels 1 through 10, missing 3, 5, and 9. 3, 5, and 9? Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you. No problem. Uh, while this is going on, uh, let's go with Demea first, because she got an 18 before Zadim did. Demea, first. this place is big. <laughs> like, you're not even focusing on the books. It's just, it's big, and you can just spin around in the center, and it's just, yep. wow. <laughs> That's <sounds> awesome. <laughs> But at the same time, you were you were asked to look for books, and I I guess you could just you know you could take a peek. Maybe there's some picture books. Oh, that. I like nice. helping friends. Yeah, fr friends and ha friendship. Yes. Uh, friendship, yeah, friendship, friendship yeah. points. Uh, <laughs> you 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 decide that you know everyone else looks like they're you know focusing on various stuff, and you're like, well, there's like two upstairs areas. I could just you know go up and up and just see what's going on up there. You know, just just take a peek. Uh, you go upstairs about two, three floors, and you see that you know there's like a one of those ladders, like uh, in Beauty and the Beast, the ones that slide around. And you're like, hmm. You you kind of step on it. You, as you step on it, it kind of slides a little. You're like, woo! Slice. <laughs> uh, climbing up it a little bit though, you're able to look over some of the uh, books. Just try, you know, just get an idea of it. Um, one of which uh, has a lot of symbols on it that you're like, I don't understand what any of this means, but it is. It looks important. It looks like it's got like uh, embroidery or something to it that you know makes it pop. And you just kind of pull it off and you're like, pat it gently. It's got like this red velvet looking cover. It's a little little faded, again due to time. Uh, but when you open it up, the pages are made of brass. It's, we'll it's, take that bad boy. It's, it's a little bit heavier because it is made of brass, like probably about a good 10 pounds. Oh, fuck. I'll still take that bad boy. Yep. Uh, you 
kind of quickly like flip through and you, uh, everyone else can just hear a little clink, tink, 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 as she flips through some of the pages. <laughs> what the, the hell is that noise? Uh, Both it's... my eyebrows are up. <laughs> like, what the... Arkansas, I'm sure, is going to investigate me like, noise! <laughs> he, he hears the noise and it just... And uh, you, uh, after you uh, look through a few, uh, you do see that there's a... Uh, whoever did this took their time because it is a very intricate drawing of... Looks like two dragons. Uh, one, of, one of whom uh, it looks like they're bowing, while the other of whom looks like uh, their wings are outstretched in defiance and a shackle has been placed around them. And it is just it's this be beautiful mural that's been etched into this sheet of brass. Wow. Like, it, like the way that it's done is just like, it, it's still a flat piece of um, brass, but there's like lifts and curls to it that makes make it look like these creatures are almost alive on this. And as you're looking down at it, it's also you feel a little, you hear a little <laughs> as you see Ark is peeking over your shoulder. It's like, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi, little buddy. And she's going to put his head. <laughs> and then I'm going to put that shit in my bag. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll, uh, can I call everyone over to me? Uh, before you, right. before everyone comes over, uh, Zadim, you were also investigating. Uh, so while ev you're hearing, you know, uh, you're hearing the sudden cling clinging, right, or actually right before it, uh, would you look, would you look on the first floor or the second floor? Well, everybody's already looking on the first floor, so I figure we got that covered. Mm -hmm. I'll probably go up to the second myself. Okay, uh, so you go up to the second floor and you see, um, you see Demea just skip right on by you and go up another floor. She's like, okay, she'll take the next floor. Uh, looking over with a uh, bright eyes, poking around next to you with you know bright eyes, just you know doing bright eyes thing. Uh, it's actually bright eyes who heles you uh, notice something because uh, you're like, hey, keep an eye out for anything of interest. And she kind of gives a little, like a kind of head curious head tilt and kind of shrugs and like ruffles her feathers and plods along. And after a moment, you hear you just hear a little thump. <laughs> As you look behind, you like you like peek behind a, a ladder, and you just see her just sitting down, like pawing at the at one of those shelves, looking over at you. And like then like leans down and like squints at one of the books. I will go and see what this is about. Uh, it is a piece of book that is uh, looks like it's got hair on the on the uh, binding. Uh, which, if you pull it out, it looks like the entire book is made of a. Uh, well, the the uh, cover itself is made out of uh, a thick leather that's wrapped around some wooden inserts, and all of the pages are made of uh, a dried. Uh, looks like uh, either rabbit or deer skin leather. It's fairly thin, but uh, enough that it was uh, something that she would have taken interest in and been like, hey, this looks like food. Oh. This sounds like a book right up my alley. I'll uh, start leafing through this. Yep. Uh, you just quickly start looking through. Um, there is a few things within it uh, that show... like This one has a lot more pictures than most of the other ones that have been described so far. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them show like... Uh, basically, it'll have one picture that'll show like a dwarf uh, technique for creating... Uh, horned bows for making like a goat horns into bows or other uh, bone into such uh, figureheads and such uh -huh. essentially it's showing different ways that they would create weapons that other people would be like well we'll just use wood essentially and it's like hey there's paper well we don't have a lot of paper so it shows like you know the dwarves using it to instead be made out of leather, which just based off of the way that some of this is done, you're guessing this is a pretty old book. Like, really old if they're, you know, not trading with anyone to get their own paper, because most of the other ones in here look like they have paper of some sort. This so one... This must have been from before dwarves had easy access to other races. Yep. Most of it wow. is made out of leather, and they they apparently had enough for like inks and such. Uh, some of it looks like it was inked 
over uh, some kind of uh, ashen etching. So it looks like it was uh, refurbished or essentially redone in such a way that it actually allowed the words to pop. Interesting. And then you hear a little clink, 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 clink. And then Demaya is like, hey guys, I found something. <laughs> you guys can head on up to check that out. There is a dragon on your head. <laughs> she, she, the little Arcus is just peeking over her shoulder, just like looking down at the book, just like. Oh, by the way, I climbed up a ladder. How, how high up am I? Uh, currently, I'd say you're about eight feet off the ground. <gasps> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm underneath you just in case you fall. <laughs> Ebron is just got yeah. his arms outstretched, just like, yeah. I got this. Shifts to the She's gonna hold out the book and be like, look what I found. Can I see that? Uh, sure. And she looks down and then she goes, I'm quiet down first. Yeah, um, I'm do you scared. need help? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Everyone. <laughs> Everyone just kind of nods, just like, hey, I'm on it. You just see him, like, step onto the thing. It, it shifts slightly and you have to quickly grab hold of it. And he just, like, pauses, slowly looks at Zadim. Can you hold this? Just. just Vedric, Vedric, can you hold, hold hold the ladder, please? Please. I will hold the ladder. I got it. Yeah, I, both you, preferably. Just, just you know, just. I got it. I will take one side. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's holding on to it. Everyone yeah, they're just everyone. everyone. <laughs> Everyone's just like, don't let, don't, don't let her be swapped around. You're, you just see everyone just <laughs> bump, 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 bump. Picks, picks, uh, picks her up, turns around, just very carefully. Bump, 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 bump. Set you down. Brushes you off real oh. quick. Thank you. So she's gonna hug Ebron again, and while she's hugging him, she's gonna hand the book to... See Nevada. what I mean? Knight in shining armor. She's gonna take the book. I'm not wearing armor. You don't have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, again, quick glance at the book. The book's heavy. It's it's ten pounds. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Like you, you take like you Price. take it with one hand. And you're just like, mm, okay, nope, nope. You flip it open and you see. Uh, at first, you're like, oh my gosh, this is made out of gold. Score! Oh no, it's no, this is brass. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, so sad. <laughs> um, but just leafing through it real quick, uh, you eventually get to that same image, and it like it sits down for a moment. And you're just like, roll a intelligence check. Just a straight one. Yes. Or a religion check. Oh, fucking. Well, rip. <laughs> it's the same modifier, so fuck either way. Seven. Yep. Uh, with the seven, it's one of those lessons that you had where you, know, you were you were too antsy. You're too, squirming around too much, and you, you you don't have a good grasp on it. But you're like. Someone you told know. me something about this. I have someone I could ask, but unfortunately, she's a little bit shy. <laughs> yeah, you, you just need to to go through the the standard ritual to to pull her up, and unfortunately, you know she's it's just you know you're like I I could do this, but at the same time, you know, just using the walkie-talkie Arcus would be helpful. You know, walkie-talkie Arcus. <laughs> You, you kind of shrug, you close the book. Uh, you can probably ask her again later. Demaya, huh? if you don't mind me making this request, do you mind if I hang on to this until we get up to the surface? I have someone I want to ask about the picture in here. Oh, okay. Thank you. She's going to hug her. She's still hugging Everett, but she'll she'll pull you into the hug she somehow. She'll accept the group hug. <laughs> Everett Ever just kind of looks between them, looks over at... Uh... The other two shrugs and just kind of slowly hugs them back. Me <laughs> hey, and the ladies. He's just like he's just like, look, I, I've got I've got the ladies and they're hugging me and I get to hug them back. Veer just look. Veerjik just looks at this and he's like, we should get going. Uh, Every gives a thumbs up and Ixie's just like, let's go. Ah, oh, and there was no fucking trash in here. Damn it. Uh, before we start walking, I'm gonna down Ever go. Keep can you carry me again? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of just was like, I mean, for, for a little bit. You know, eventually. You Don't know, worry, it, we'll keep you defended so that you can carry your new little maiden. Uh, Beardrick is rubbing his forehead. 
<laughs> like rubbing his temples like, oh, God. <laughs> this is definitely, apparently, a thing. Sigh. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, She's gonna walk past Vindry. Don't be hating just because you ain't got a girl. <laughs> and walk off where he can respond. <laughs> He's not gonna respond anyway. He's just gonna start walking. <laughs> yeah, I can feel the burning in the back of my head. It's fine. <laughs> uh, as one does. Um, as you're, uh... So you guys are heading back up to the surface? Yep. Okay. So you guys make your way out of this place. It's... You're trying to do so without any, you know, any issues or anything like that. Simple enough. You guys had it set up where you guys could leave. Uh, Vidric, you're. Uh, would you have set up a way for you to get out of here, or would you have just been like, "Fuck it" and just jumped in? Yellow. Uh. I'm not sure. Um, I probably would have just right in. <laughs> that sounds like him. Completely right. Yeah. That I'll get back out somehow. <laughs> I know, I know. I get back out. No rope, no climbing gear, nothing. <laughs> he's, just like, out. he's like, I got this. Uh, as you're about to head to where you were, you notice them going off a different way, and you're just like, eh, I, I might as well see. And then you see all the climbing gear they use to get up, and you're like, mm. If you want short stack, I can carry you. <laughs> short stack. <laughs> uh, I can climb myself without gear. That's so humiliating. <laughs> well, here, how about this? If your pride is, if your pride needs to stay intact, you can cart me up, and I'll let you use my gear. Also, he, while he is short, he is wearing heavy armor. I am well yeah. aware. <laughs> He's a heavy boy. <laughs> but he is also you a gnome, that which gnomes only weigh like thirty something pounds. Which exactly, is... so he can only weigh about eighty. I mean, he can weigh like a hundred, <laughs> but you know, he's still light. Okay, I just want. Okay, how, how exactly in terms of heavy is this? Because um, I know that fucking half plate weighs like forty I pounds. Never wrote it down. Oh, it doesn't only weigh him. That's half plate though. Yeah, that's why I said. So it, it, my thought process would be it would be anywhere from sixty to seventy. So he would be anywhere from ninety to a hundred, which I can mail. still fucking carry. Chain, <laughs> chain, chain mail is fifty five. Yeah, so I can still very much carry him. Just... Do you, would you prefer that arrangement of carting me around? Are you going to? <laughs> he just sighs. Um. Very well. We'll just do it that way. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> the... <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm lighter than. I mean, I would hope so. So you're All gonna right, have. Come on. Uh... Okay, so Navarra is carrying the gnome. So yeah. Navarra picks up the uh, the gnome boil and uh, he like this. <laughs> uh, a very uncomfortable gnome boy. Very As, uncomfortable, very angry. <laughs> he's got like his arms crossed. He's like, fucking, this is humiliating. You yeah. should be happy. Right. I got a baby very harness. Hard. He is trying very hard not to linger on this. Let's let's just keep going. <laughs> Ixis is just watching this, just like shrugging, and Ebrin's up ahead, you know, just carrying carrying uh, Demaya, just like I got this. He's thinking some shit in dwarves. I can absolutely see that. Yes, yes, he is. Uh, eventually, you guys get up and out. Uh, as you guys are leaving the crack. Uh, you see the place is quiet. It's dark out. Looks like it's about sundown. Dusk is beginning to approach. And kind of just a little ways off in the distance you hear a little Alright, the horse. Yep. Spartacus is still there. He was lo looking over just like hey, what took you so long? <laughs> Hi, boy. 
I want to know if I can ritual cast speak with animals, but I don't know if someone's going to wait ten minutes. <laughs> That's for you guys. I mean, you guys can. No, you know, what moving. I mean, no. someone. I mean the gnome on my back. I mean, you, guys, you can put the you can put the gnome down before doing. I mean, you have to do that in order to get <laughs> rich yeah, right. this. So he wants to get down anyway. So yeah, he's getting down <laughs> himself. Look at my if he has the moment. jumped off by now. <laughs> as soon as you guys got to the top, he's back into the. <laughs> Look, if he hasn't yeah, jumped yeah. off by now, he's he likes this and he's lying. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no way he would have jumped the fuck off. By now. <laughs> I want off this ride. Yep. <laughs> so you uh, he gets off. Clang, 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 clang. Uh, no zombies. Uh, the place that you'd seen, you know, with uh, it looked like it had been crawling with it. Um, there are a few little spots where you can see like armor being glinted off of, but all of them are on the ground, prone. Nothing's moving, except for again up on the ridge where in the forest line you just see Spartacus just looking at you guys. I'm gonna ritual. Can I ritual cast while I walk? Um, because it says ritual, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. Because I know Ixius could, but I didn't know if I could. Uh, he was doing it on the horse, so he wasn't actually walking. No, when, no, we were walking through the tunnel. Oh, that's right, yes. Uh, I did say that. Um, no, but I didn't know it. if it was because he was a sorcerer. Okay, yeah. I'm going to ritual cast while we he's, walk he's to a wizard, not Spartacus. A <laughs> yep. Um, I'm going to ritual cast while we walk up to him. Okay. Hi, sweetie! <laughs> uh, it does take ten minutes to ritual cast, it, just so you're aware. Naturally. <laughs> so, you say that, he... Pff, just kind of like shifts about clip, 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 clip. Uh, when the ritual cast finally takes a hold uh, he's, he's still silent just kind of look around nervous you guys been gone down there a long time <laughs> you guys been going back here it's pretty fast but you guys were taking your sweet time I was worried the guys were going to be lost forever I was going to be all on my own again I'm going to have to worry about them damn blood sucking scoundrels and Oh my uh, goodness! This is you haven't smelled. Hmm? You haven't smelled any of them anymore. Uh, have no, you? I ain't smelled none of them. <laughs> I love this horse. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the male, the, like the, jump the out of Ebrin's uh, hands and just run over to hug them. All the group is gonna hear is like Navara speaking in horse Norse, but she looks like she is two seconds from cracking up. <laughs> uh, Demaya, you run over, you hug this horse. He just like you like he's completely trained. He just watches as you know this teeth lean girl just suddenly oh my gosh runs over and hugs him. You're just like now what in the tarnation is happening here? <laughs> Did you That's pick up? That ain't no devil. I know a fiend when I see a fiend. That them there's a tiefling. Tieflings, tieflings, tieflings smell like humans, but they're uh, they're pokey and they're. What's his name? <laughs> His name is Spartacus. Hell oh, yeah, my name is Spartacus. You better believe it. Spartacus! I can't! I can't! Oh my Amazing. god, what a cutie! And she's gonna like nuzzle her cheek on his like a horse neck. I don't know if he prefers to be called the cutie or not. And if I listen to this guy for too long, my accent is already starting to come out and I'm going to rip my hair out. <laughs> okay, two things. First of all, this is Boomhauer's horse and I was not aware. <laughs> Second of all, I missed the last thing that he said. He said, you damn wrong, my name is Spartacus. <laughs> nice. uh, also, um, you're, you're, uh, as Demaya is like looking back, like I don't know if you know, as you're like I don't know if he likes being killed. Cute. I, I am what I need to be. I'm tough as hell, but I can also be as sweet as the South. I do what I please, and I can be cute as well. I don't you, know what you consider be cute, but if I'm cute, hell yeah. You want a bow in your hair next? I Wait, mean, can I also to... ritual cast speak with animals? Do you have that as a ritual spell that you've written down? I do. Then you can oh. ritual cast that. I'm gonna do that shit. So <laughs> you you just see her excitedly begin ritual casting the same spell that you've ritual casted, and he's just watching. It's just like ah, I see you got one of them, uh, them them folks that can do the thing. <laughs> you yep. mean the spell user? Is that what it's called? Man, no one ever explained that to me. They just said they can do the thing, and I'm just like, oh yeah, the thing. Who said the <laughs> thing? The thing? <laughs> oh, let me know when I'm done. <laughs> In orders. Um, yeah, he's just kind of like, he like shifts about, just like, I mean, my boss always talked about them, and they're like, oh yeah, you little hoodoo voodoo people talk about them doing the thing. And I'm just sitting here like, man, voodoo, that thing. Voodoo. You ain't, you have, you ain't feel, never heard of them people call about the hoodoo voodoo? Oh, man. I feel offended that my magics have been reduced to <laughs> hoodoo voodoo. I mean, when, you, when, you, when you're ignoramus type people like them, I mean, I guess you suppose that they're not exactly going to be the most brightest folk on the farm. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> She's 
le it's le it's legit. Like, just just imagine someone has said, "You come into my house." How is that fucking like? It's like the hand in the chest, offended face. It's like. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna, I'm gonna, ain't gonna say that those folk were the, the brightest folk, but you know, I was the one who decided to go stand in the river, and they were just like, "Oh no, please, no, don't, don't eat me," and I'm just sitting here like, why "Man, did sit, why did you sit in the river again?" Oh, because that was what I was always taught to do. If you ever see those blood sucking varmints, they're gonna go in, they're gonna drink your blood, and they're gonna make you one of them undead folk, and you gotta be like, "Ugh, no, man, you don't want that." You Jesus want, you Christ! Want to the river. Zadim was right. This is Boo Hour's horse. <laughs> 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 Um, at this point, uh, Demea, you you have ritual cast speak with animals, uh, and you're 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 hearing the tail end of this, and you're just like, wait, what? Huh? Oh, oh uh, uh, we found this horse while, well, rather, we found the horse in the river because it was attacked by vampires. Oh, was... you poor thing! And she's gonna like hug you. Like, you're okay though, right? He's okay though, right? I'm strong I mean, as alive. nails and tougher than the oaks. Oh, such a strong <laughs> boy! And she's gonna, like, ruffle the fur and give little kisses on his forehead. You know, like, in cartoons, how if a horse is, like, puffing up with pride, they, like, lift their leg and raise their head, and they're, like, really just... Oh, he's just absolutely doing that. Presenting. Yes, oh, that's yeah. exactly just what I imagine. One Good. foot off the ground, head turned to the side, just like, hell yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tough as nails <laughs> and stronger than the oaks. And then when you're like, I want to kiss your forehead, he's just like, well, I mean, if going as nicely... Leans down so you can kiss his forehead. Y'all, y'all are the most polite type folk I ever did meet. Yeah, she's yeah. gonna walk. Back. She's gonna walk back to the group because I'm sure her shit has run off. So we have a country horse, and when I say country, I don't mean from the country. I mean he literally has a country accent. Oh man, she ain't come. Man, he'll talk to me no more. Man, that stinks. That stinks like a skunk on winter. Uh, man, I really hope that she will do that again. That was fun. Can you still understand me? I hope you can understand me. I'll, I'll always try to talk with you. I I have it in my ritual book. She's gonna hold it up. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> what? Hell? Hell Was yeah! That... <laughs> you, you, you ain't never heard of the hills? Uh, that, no. that, that, that's a phrase that I've heard been mentioned all over, all over the towns. They were really like, they're like, oh hail, and I'm just like, man, I don't know what that means, but apparently it means something good because everyone keeps talking about it. Is it good? All right, hell seems like a nice place. <laughs> apparently, I, I know people keep saying like, oh hail, and I'm just like, oh well, apparently they're, they're talking about good things, yeah. Except when they say oh hail, though, in which case I'm like, oh man, maybe hell also means it's a bad thing. Maybe it's a good oh, and a bad no. place. I don't know about that. Oh, what do you think? I guess everything is <laughs> bad. It sounds <laughs> good from what I've heard. I want to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Man, me too. I mean, if I go to hell, I mean, there they, they, they ain't no vampires down in hell, right? I, no. I wouldn't know. I've never been to hell. Ah, uh, me either. If I ever go to hell, I might as well just say, hey, you ain't going to go to hell. We should go to hell together. Aw, oh, man, that'll be the best. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> and I'm going. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Please tell me the spell no. wore off at that None exact moment no. where she no, screams hell no. down. No. I think that it lasts for a... How long does Speak With Animals last? Like, I think, 10 minutes, oh, I think. It lasts for, like, 10 minutes. So, yeah, you're, you're still, you still have it going. So, you don't hear... Oh, my God. So, no one hears this. Hear this shit. You, you, you still hear... You're like, this wore off. You're like, no, this is still weird. This is still here for you. No, no, no. You, you ritual cast it. Uh, so, it would have taken 10 minutes. So, hers wore off right as hers was turning on. So, you don't hear any of this. Nice. Oh, my goodness. So, you have no oh, idea what this horse is teaching to my <laughs> Is, is it okay if I ride you? It's a, no, it says it lasts for ten minutes, so it would still be that. It would still be going. I know, but it takes ten minutes to ritual cast. And she yeah, I took ten minutes to ritual after. cast while you were doing it. Yes. Oh, okay. So that's why you wouldn't have been able to. You know, if you had, you know, ritual cast it again while you were speaking with them, probably not gonna work because you have to have verbal components to it. It would have been funny, but. Uh, so yeah, Demet is just oh, talking. Goodness. You have no idea what's going on, but she looks excited. And when you ask him you know, if you, she can ride, you, you can ride him, he's like, "I mean, okay. I wasn't exactly uh, built. Uh, bre uh, I wasn't exactly bred and built for it, but I mean, Ixius just kind of hopped right on my back and started riding me around. He even got me a nice, nice saddle. Look at this nice saddle. It makes me look all dapper oh, and dashy. So should, should, so should we set up camp at the saddle? <laughs> should we set up camp somewhere away from the zombie board? Yeah. I that mean, that's like a, good idea. a very logical thing to do. All right, uh, Demaya. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Your, your name is Demaya. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm Spartacus. Oh. Nice to meet you. I know Spartacus. You're so sweet. I'm just gonna hug him again. <laughs> Come he, on, sweetie. It's time to set up camp. Bring your friend. He gives a little bop okay. to your head, and he's just kind of like he like he like li like leans down slightly so you can hop on his back. 
He's a big boy. Alright, cool, about to fucking write Spartacus, hell yeah, it's just off <laughs> Yep, you just you hop on and he's he's Wait, very can I see if I immediately fall? Um, roll a dexterity oh. check. Dexterity or acrobatics, I mean. Uh, I, I, because this is uh, not you being showy about it, I'm just going to say straight dexterity to see how quickly you fall off. <laughs> I can't. I don't know if I'm ready to see this. That's not bad. Nope, that, that is a pass. You, you're like, <laughs> okay. eh. You, you like hop on and like for a moment you're like, eh. And, and, and uh, you still have to speak with animals going, so you just hear him say, Hold on tight to the horn. What's the horn? He's like on the sa on the saddle. Just grab hold of it. Okay, you grab hold of it, and for a moment you're like, "What am I supposed to do?" And you just hold on to it. And suddenly he rises up just enough to kind of chuck you up into the air. You land on. You're like, "Oof!" And you're on, <laughs> you're on the saddle. Before this is fun. I think she's made friends with her horse. I like agree. full friends. Don't worry, there, Demi. I'm gonna take you right in the. All of a sudden, just fades out, and you're just like, "Oh, it's four off." <laughs> Oh. Uh, <laughs> Look, I'm again later. Yeah. Navarro started setting up camp, and she's going to look at the demon. Help! What's his name? Beardrick. <laughs> Beardrick's helping. Yes. Don't worry. We'll, I, we'll get his name uh, Can you snap my fingers fight. and I set up camp? Oh damn! Nice. That's right. You have that shit. Good. He has, he has a very nice. Uh, I think it's Anarth Darkana spell. Yeah. Very very useful spell. Just. You, you, so you guys can go around and uh, set up camp on the other side, or if you want to just set it up right here, you can set it up right here, whichever you prefer. I prefer off to the side, okay. away from the zombie bodies. <laughs> okay, so you guys do sure. that. Uh, Spartacus just kind of clip, 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 oh. clip, 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 right behind you guys until you know you get what's, up to where the camp can be set up. He lays, basically, he lay, you see him just lay down so that uh, Navara can just hop off. Not Navara, uh, Demaya. Demaya. Oh, right no! Off. No! Not again! <laughs> the yuzz. The yuzz. <laughs> but anyways. First it was, Ver First it was Varen and Varric. Now it's going to be Tobias and Nefar. <laughs> <laughs> At least those are enough apart that I should be okay. Should. Sure. Right, I'll, um, I'm gonna I'll head hop off that good horse. Okay. I'm going to head slightly away from the group and start trying to call my patron with the book out. Okay. Uh, you hold the book out and you're like, you, Arcus is on your shoulder and you... You go to a, a more secluded area. Um, you can breathe in a little bit more uh, as you kind of settle down. Just like uh, looking at the book, kind of brush it off gently. Uh, Arcus just kind of hops down next to your leg, kind of sits down in front of you, looks up, and as you see the moon just kind of peeking down and kind of illuminating some light through the trees. You see Arcus just kind of like tilt his head, hop back a few paces into the moonlight, turn around, lay down, and just kind of like <sighs> and then his eyes kind of go white and he, he sits on up, stretches. <sighs> Hello, lovely. Man, no matter how many times you do that, it still always looks painful. <laughs> uh, it's not painful to him. He's just not used to having me pop in and out. A little yeah. stressful on his tiny little bed. Is there a w There has to be a way that I can get him bigger some while. I'll look into that later. Um, I have a question for you, Auntie. Yes. She's going to open the book to the page of the two dragons. Would you happen to know anything about this at all? Uh, you see, I feel like I know it, but... As soon as you show it, Arcus Wing is just kind of like stiffening and like raise up and then... Like in like in almost a sense of pride, she kind of turns her head. Really now, really. She kind of leans forward. It's like she's like looking through, it and you can tell that probably actually reading the script on the left as well, from the way that like the eyes go back and forth and back and forth. Actually, the whole head like, is doing the whole like da -da 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 -da, ding. I don't know da -da 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 why it shocks ding. me that an almost endlessly aging person wouldn't understand dwarvish. Really? Who? Uh, I will type those out into chat for you. And Garius. Make sure I'm spelling that right. There we go. I assume 
You know about them. The way you react. Gods. Gods? Yes, ancients. Like myself, though I suppose one might call them true ancients as they were among the actual pre-primordials before the gods like Sayas and the like, but younger in their own way. Formed after the gods. When they saw what was being made, they wanted to do the same. They were, according to this book anyway, uh, commanded by Sayas to not put anything onto, I'd say. But they, they were young. Children want to do what they will do, and they flew over and they shed scales that they scattered across the lands, which eventually grew into the dragons. Oh, so in a way, the ancestors, quote unquote, let's call them that, of all dragons? Yes. Although, she motions to the book. This part of the book I'm not as familiar with. This book would be quite a lovely read. If you could hold on to that and bring that back to me sometime. Not immediately, just when you have a chance. I'd love to look through it. I've never seen <laughs> anyone actually attempt to portray the binding of Keltemra. I can do it once we get back, or once we get into a city. It'll be easier then. I'll be able to find my own room as opposed to being off in the woods with God knows what might be able to chew on me. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. You've got too much spirit. <laughs> you say that, but I can still get bitten. Oh. Arcus, being a prime example of me being able to still take a few bites. Uh, true, true. But that being said, she makes like, very, she like, kind of waves uh, Arcus' hand as though like very dismissively, just like that's beside the point. <laughs> that being said, moving forward with all that is here. It looks like you've done quite well for yourself. You're actually back out among the trees in the moonlight. Thank God. <laughs> Was it that hard, really? I don't like it when my opponents start bleeding weird, inky black stuff. Oh, so it was a fierce Jaren. I, suppose I didn't doubt that you were right. Oh, it's not that you needed to doubt me. It's just that I wasn't certain myself. Knowing that a thing is a fierce Jaren is, well, it has, it's a creature that allowed its soul to be brought back to its body and that has more than enough personality to enforce its will over thralls. Ugh. Even sentient creatures have some difficulty with avoiding such things. That explains a lot. That explains a lot more than it probably should. I'm going to assume that once it dies, however, anything that it raised or controlled goes with it. Arcus blinks. That's what? not how that works, generally. That's a very specific kind of binding. That's what happened when we killed him. Everyone that was following his orders just dropped, and it's almost like they rotted to the level they should have been, if that makes sense. Curious. Very curious. I'll have to look into this. I've... I'm not actually sure if I've ever considered such a thing. I'll keep my eyes open. This is... old magic. Something I hadn't considered for a while. Might be fun to go back to researching a few things just to make sure that I don't get rusty. Are you going to drag mom into this again? Oh, your mother's always been a most studious scribe. If she doesn't wish to, that's completely up to her, but you and I, know I how you know her. I know how you are with tempting. All you have to do is say, you might learn history, and she'll already be on her he on your heels. I don't have to say that she might learn history. Every time that I've said so, she does. Uh, you're going to start knowing the ways to tempt me, too. <laughs> <laughs> you say that like I haven't known already. 
do you hear the a whistle of the wind kind of brush through your hair for a moment as Arc's eyes refocus? How are you feeling, buddy? Better. Oh, you don't have a headache this time? Shakes his head, stretches out, and you see like the scales kind of rolling down his back for a second as he stretches like, ah, oh, I feel good. What'd she talk about? Was it good? Did she say she liked me? I... Why is that your primary focus? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Stretches at his neck. No, no, no. Oh, hey, oh my, she's go gonna pick him up. I, I, no. I, 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 camp, camp. Ah. Nope, nope. <laughs> you just gave me some juicy information. Do you have a crush on Auntie? No. She feeds me good food. What the hell does she feed you? Food. Like the best raspberries. She gave you raspberries and you didn't even say anything? You 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 had the raspberries. It was in a pie. But she gave you the raspberries before it was in a pie. I don't like pie. Too much sugar. That's the best part though. I don't like sugar. Weirdo. <laughs> you, like, you seem like huff and just kind of cross his arms on your hands. I don't even. Don't start acting huffy. <laughs> At least I'm not the one who started to flirt with someone who can understand them. Don't think I forgot what you said to Demaya when you found her. I said nothing. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> he, he huffs she's, and just lays his head on his hands. She's already <laughs> stood up and is just carrying him back because they have this argument. Of course. Uh... So yeah, uh, Verdric, you just see her just like talking to this little dragon in a very melodious language as the two of them are like huffing and just like being very goofy. It's not what you're used to, but you know, that these are different pe these are different folk. <laughs> what kind of language do they speak again? Uh, Sylvan. It's, it's a very sing-songy type language, very like wispy, almost druidic sounding. Uh, oh. It's just off enough to make you be like, maybe not, but you're also not familiar with druids that much, so you're like, eh. Huh. Weird. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I can't um, tell if she said that out loud, or... <laughs> mm, I don't know. No, he'd probably keep it to himself. <laughs> of course. He's side eyeing like weirdos. <laughs> He's probably just focusing on, like, campfire or some shit. Right. Making sure that you guys keep warm. Uh, yep. As the night presses on, you guys are able to finally get your long rest and relax. Finally! Uh, also, <laughs> uh, just before we continue real quick, uh, I, I considered it, and I realized that, technically speaking, we already do have a person who could be considered a sidekick. Ebron? No. Are you... I, okay. Is it mm -hmm. animal, or yes. are you referencing... Are you referencing Spartacus? Spartacus? Yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. Like I thought about it for a second. I'm like, I thought about it for a second. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. If I mean, it does mention that you know, it's like learns a certain amount of skills, you know, and if they're humans, they get this. I'm like, wait a minute. That means that one of them could be a horse, and if we had a horse, <laughs> so I, I'm, I'll, I'll look into setting all that up myself later. But just the idea of having a, a sidekick. Spartacus is uh, mm. pretty interesting because that also means that the horse will be uh, able to help protect uh, Demea if Demea is riding him into combat. Where it's like, we need to make sure that, you know, she's not next to him. Spartacus, I'm on it. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to get him away over here. Oh, they're coming over to me? Huh, get ready for me to give a curve stomp. Hi -ya! This will be interesting. Awaken him quickly! <laughs> Uh, but in the meantime, you guys rest well. You rest easy, actually. Uh, the whole the whole night is seems more relaxing for some reason. Like the air just feels not tranquil per se, but calm. Yeah, that's a good word for it. Actually, let me see if I can pull up. Maybe it's because there's not a dozen undead wandering around at any given time. <laughs> right. Possibly. <Pause. laughs> Emmy, uh, are you eating? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Very I got, on brand. <laughs> I got one of my favorite meals at my favorite place, so. Nice. Oh, that sounds good. I'm just gonna have some, uh, just some very nice, uh, 
kind of just peacefulish sounding music. No, just kind of going off in the background. Um, we're all sleeping, right? Yes. Or no, we're taking watch, right? If you guys wish to, to. I'll take watch yeah. first. Uh, yeah. There's not a day that goes by that I'm not going to take watch. Right? <laughs> yeah. Me and Jadim yeah. immediately like, hell no! <laughs> Hold yeah. up, wait a minute. <laughs> um. So, who would sure like to take old. first watch? I'll take it. Okay. Uh, all right. So you want to take it alone with uh, obviously with Arcus. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have to. Whoever the fuck wants to stay up, stay up with me. Mm -hmm. I'm sleeping. Okay. I'm sleeping. <laughs> this is the first time Demaya slept somewhere at least somewhat comfy because she's been in a fucking cage, so she's past the point. Yeah, out. yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, Demaya, Demaya just passes the hell out and um... right, unconscious. Yep. Uh, do horses sleep standing up or do they sleep? They sure do. Yep. So... I thought they laid. They can lay, they down. Can lay down. They can lay down, but I'm pretty sure they most of the time. Can I cuddle yeah. with Spartacus? Hold on. Um, Hold on. He's I'm not comfortable Google. with that yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eventually, he could be, though, which is why I was asking, because I would imagine, you know, Spartacus just in the middle of the night jumping to his feet and everyone just being like, what is it, boy? Should we fall down the well? <gasps> they can. Yep, they can. I'm uh, also going to pass out hard. Yeah, it's been a long night for everyone, and everyone's just kind of passing out. Uh, so everyone who I'm stays gonna... awake, uh, which is for the first watch, which sounds like Naivara. I don't believe Zadim's taking first watch. No, not first watch anyway. Okay. Um, so, Naivara, uh, roll a perception check with advantage with Arcus' help. Naturally, because he's a good boy. He's a very good boy. He's a good boy who has a crush on a bunch of people. <laughs> uh, just looking around, you hear the sound of various creatures milling about, moving around. You actually catch sight of a boar in the distance, which... Thankfully, it's far enough away that it doesn't seem to really pay <clears throat> attention or notice you guys. Uh, now we're having to stop her trigger finger so she doesn't kill it for me. <laughs> she That's also, my job. She also hears me snoring loudly. Jesus <laughs> 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 Christ! <laughs> uh, Vidric is not a, a, a light sleeper. He sleeps oh, heavy. Hold up. He sleeps I have with to be that. right back real quick. I'm Wait, sorry. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Demaya's little mumbles in her sleep. Uh, with a natural <laughs> twenty, yes, but we'll we'll give her a moment to get back so we can actually see if uh because obviously, you know. Uh wh while that's going on, I'm actually gonna make sure that I have uh I realized that for some reason we didn't put down Spartacus's movement speed, which uh, Spartacus is a very fast boy. Oh, oh yeah, horses can move. Yeah, his his uh boy. his race is riding horse, which means that he has a movement speed of sixty feet. Mm. Oh, Ooh. yeah! Nice. I want to be like that. Get sixty feet of movement speed as a gnome? Hell yeah! Yeah, oh, that would man. be fucking great. Yep. <laughs> um, as a paladin, I could get everywhere and kill everyone. I know, right? That'd be great. Um, also, if anyone wishes to uh, pack things onto Spartacus, uh, he well, he is a riding horse. First and foremost, which I believe I have put on here. I don't remember if I said he was a draft horse or not, but I see on here that it states he's a riding horse because he's, you know, got the saddle for it. Which actually I need to put a saddle on him because he does have a saddle that was put on before. So we're just, uh, I, I, for everyone else, you know, semantics and us putting down little things and such. Uh, which right now you guys are not seeing any of the things I'm pulling up. I'd apologize, but you know, at the same time, you got to hear all the, uh, the silly, goofy things that, you know, See if I can pull up the. Wait, hold on. No, that that's a that's a what is it? Copyright. I keep having the Pokemon theme pop up. We're gonna get demonetized. No, I all of the money that I'm not yet receiving. Oh no. I w I wish I knew how to to do that so I can, you know, get something out of this. But at the same time, you know, you I'm sure still can. learning. I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. Still learning, yeah, you gotta learn some I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do that, you know, gotta learn them things with the stuff and this yeah. stuff. Baby steps. One step at a time. 
Then you're gonna get the money. Get the money. Get the money. Uh, which, to be fair, I hopefully will. I gotta put that in there so if anyone wants to look at that later, they will be able to see that. Um, Ooh. Ooh. Yep. Okay. Um, which, because he's a large creature, he actually has a D10, which I'm gonna put on here. But in the meantime, um, yeah, my, I still have bed bugs. Still working on getting that all sorted out. So uh, for everyone good. else, yep, yep. For everyone else, uh, by the way, if you need to take a break to quickly, you know, get some water or something like that, please, by all means, take take your time, get what you need done, done. I'm absolutely fine. I got my food. Yep. I'm ready to start right now. Yep. Um. For yeah, with you know, the stuff that I've got, you know, it's <laughs> you know, I've I've kept calling in, being like, hey, you know, you know, be great, guys. I I'd appreciate. Being able to, you know, go go to work, be able to, Please. you know, get things I really done. Appreciate if I, you know, go to work so I can pay my rent. Yeah, mm. which you know, I'm I'm still I'm still getting it done, but you know, this is like the second or third time that I've actually uh, had to go in. I actually went and I'm I back. spoke with them personally. Welcome back. Uh, but yeah, I'm just mm. mentioning, you know, still still dealing with bed bugs myself. So, Ugh. gross. Bullshit. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna beat up your landlord. I am too. Seriously, why isn't that shit figured out already? Excellent question. I don't know. And they haven't exactly <sighs> told me. And you know you know when you call into someone like, oh no, you've called the wrong number, you need to call this number? Mm hmm Um, they've done that with me, and you wanna know what the number they give me? Is mm -hmm. it the same number? It's the same number. Which is an eight hundred mm -hmm. number that when I call that number I hit two to go to maintenance, two because yes, I still need to go to maintenance, and then it loops me back to the beginning. <laughs> oh my so, yeah. god! Uh, understandably, I'm not Dude, happy with that. You could take like legal action against that shit. You actually can. I I know I could, but at the same time, currently I'm not going to do anything about that as it is because right now I am focused more on just trying to get this done. But hmm. you know, if it keeps going on, I might have to bring that up at some point. Sure, the motherfucker. It's like, a fucking health hazard. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they can get in serious trouble for that. They can get in very serious trouble if you threaten them with it. Then they're gonna be like, "Oh shit!" and then you know, take it more seriously. Yep. Which right now I'm, I'm, I'm seeing if they actually do anything about it. But I'm, I might actually have to bring that up and be like, you know, guys, hmm. I can't go to work. Help I, me. I had to do it for my landlord. He wouldn't fix the fucking uh, porch roof because it was starting to like bend down and about to fall in. Ugh. Ew. It's really taking the fucking front of the house, so shit. Yeah. yeah. If you mm -hmm. need to threaten them, fucking do it. Right? Because mm -hmm. yeah, there's just some motherfuckers who won't do anything. Yeah, which, yep. to be fair, I don't believe it's all their fault because of the fact that I'm calling into their office and like when I'm speaking to the people in the office, they seem understanding, they seem to understand, they're trying to help, but, you know, <laughs> life. Mm. But that being said, where were we? Ah, yes, um, with a natural 20, mm. uh, you hear the loud snores of Vedric. I need a nat 20 to hear that? No, no. <laughs> You need not one to hear that and only that. <laughs> With the natural 20, though, you also hear mumblings. What? Uh, the soft sounds coming from Demea. I'm gonna move over to see if I can make out what she's saying. Demea? Demea. Emmy. Emmy. Oh no! Did her thing oh, like? Hold on, hold on. She said, hold on. Ch choking? <laughs> what? Are you okay? Give her a second. Hopefully. Oh, okay. Thank uh, God. I can't hear I mean, what she's saying. She said, swallowed water down the wrong hole. Ah. Oh. Hi, Which everyone. I mean, Holy I, fuck. I would rather it be that than yes. you actually choking. That's what got me yeah. concerned. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm fine, that just, oh, oof. Not good. Oof. You're back. Right. You're fine, hon. Uh, so, what's up? What happened? Um, she what are you mumbling? She hears mumbling from Demea. Okay. Uh, at first, it seems pretty uh, intangible, just like, no, 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 no,
Uh, as you kind of make it out, she's saying, No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Now, Vara is, as gently as possible, going to move her head onto her lap and start, like, just trying to calm her down. Okay. Uh, should I roll to see if that wakes me up? You can. Uh, I'd say and perception I think I have to... check with disadvantage versus sleight of hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he demands it's not like he's fucking robbing me. <laughs> disadvantage. I'm trying to take your pocket, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to steal. I want to steal your lunch money. Perception, you said. With disadvantage because you're asleep. With disadvantage, I have disadvantage on right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I do. Okay. Uh, perception. Yeah. Nope. I don't wake Slide up. Slide a hand. Slide yeah. A hand. Yeah. Nope. You you you're, you're moved ass. over and you're it's just part of the dream. All right. I'm I'm still murmuring little no listen, please. She's kind of mm-hmm. just continues to rock her head. It's okay. It's okay. It's safe. You hear her little sniffles. Maybe you see a little bit of a tear. That. I'm pretty sure Navara is going to fall asleep sitting up now. Okay. Ix the uh, next watch is going to just see that. Ix, yes, you wake up and you see Navara is looks like she's tried to move herself to lean against a tree to go to sleep rather than laying down, and she's got Demea's head in her lap. Mm. Ixius? Not, uh, not Ixius, Zadim. My bad. Okay, I, here we go. Ixius is awake. I wasn't going to say time. anything. Ixius is I, awake I at the same time. I I can't plot. I want to see if you would figure it out. No, I, I, I figured it <laughs> Sorry, out. Sorry, I had to call you, him out. You have to, you have to call me out on that because I'm just, I'm just feeling going over my head, just like, wait a minute, and then you slapped it down <laughs> on my head. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, so I'll just leave him be, and I will take up my wash apparently with advantage. Yeah. Go right uh, ahead. Perception. Mm-hmm. A lot of eighteens this session. <laughs> uh, looking around, I'll take it. it's yeah, it's uh, pretty standard. Quiet watch. It's actually quite peaceful, all things considered. And you're just kind of leaning back, just like yeah. I dig it. Yeah. I mean, you hear Demea, uh, you hear Demea, Demea's little mutterings, just like little no's, but she they're they're like spaced so far between they might just be little. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rather than you know actual um, little mutterings like you first expected, but eventually you just kind of shrug and you're like, okay. And getting sleepy, you head to sleep. Um, mm-hmm. Exius stays up a little longer. Uh, did you want to take watch as well, Demea or Vidric? Uh, <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> I would like to take whatever the last watch is, yeah. This is last watch. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Ixius is with you. Just kind of keeping watch with you. Uh, roll a perception check with advantage. Uh, uh, with advantage. Uh, right. Just click uh, again. Okay. Come on. There we go. Yep, 19, okay. Uh, you also hear the same things. Uh, as this all is going on, uh, you see Ixius turning a, a dagger over in his hand slowly, uh, kind of watching you. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, brought someone like you around these this way, anyway. Kind of flips the dagger in his hands. Uh, you see that there's little, like, uh, sigils and marks on it. Uh, if you're not aware of any significant nature to them but he seems to be uh holding on to it pretty pretty tightly so it must have some significance to him i was hired for a job a job that took you there i mean that must have been some job i just kind of nod a little bit (laughs) he's not much Oh, no, no worries. Yeah, and Ixius kind of shrugs. I mean, you know, 
I was told to go see the world by... I was told to go see the world, but... Seeing all the undeath in this area alone, I... Halo's already got a lot of stuff for me to take a look at. And, you know, I'm not really attached, per se. I mean, I'm still gonna help out Zadim with his armor, and they're good people, and hey, even though we just met Demaya, she seems pretty close to them. But in the, in the next city, I think I'm gonna be staying back. I'd be willing to hire you to, you know, keep an eye on them, if you're willing. How much are you talking? Depends on how long you're out there. If you're out there for a pretty long time, I'm I'm sure I have a few people I can talk to who could uh, get you quite a price. I suppose it depends on where they're heading. Right now they're heading into Halo. I don't know where they're or where we've been planning to go. Besides that, there's a there's a city in Halo. Uh, apparently, there's someone in there who's uh, causing some trouble for people. They're uh, setting up nobles where they're not supposed to be but it's not my not my business I'm supposed to know the rise and falls of them but if it's not you know legally done it's not really my concern well I happen to be heading back that way oh that definitely helps you see him play with the uh, the dagger for a little bit more you seem kind of just like kind of grunt and kind of grumble a little bit but he eventually seems to be relenting before he flips it over in his hand pat in his hand, uh, pat like the uh, the hilt in his hand for a second and he holds it out to you. You know what this is? He lets you take it and look it over. Uh, are you proficient with Arcana? Uh, I'm pretty confident I am not. Okay. It's a dagger with a lot of sigils on it. Looks fancy, looks pretty neat, but beyond that, uh, doesn't have anything that stands out to you at a glance. If anything, it just looks old. <laughs> it just looks old? <laughs> Is this a family heirloom or something? Oh, no, we found this in a pond. Uh, but it's a, a dagger of warning. Do you know the significance of that? I mean, you're a paladin. I imagine having something like this would be helpful, but I figured I'd still ask. Um, I'm assuming I have an idea what this is. You have an idea? <laughs> uh, roll Do a, I? Roll a history check. Uh, Twelve. Yeah. Uh, most of the time, they're bigger weapons, which is probably why you would have missed it with a dagger. But uh, this type of weapon has been referred to as a a god's sending. Uh, from actually, let me pull up the name of the god real quick, because there is an actual god of war. Oh. <laughs> Not Kratos. You keep your laughter down. <laughs> uh, Zeu. Kratos in D and D. Oh. Yeah, uh, Zeu, god of combat and organized warfare. Uh, they say uh, they're referred to as Zeu's blessing uh, because of the fact that uh, anything that comes within thirty feet, uh, you cannot be surprised by. So you cannot be caught flat-footed, uh, so long as you have this on your person. Hmm. Uh, it is an attunement item, but it would uh, give you the ability to and not be caught unaware, even if it's not like the weapon you're using. So you can just have that on you, and it'll give you uh, the ability to be more on guard, as it were. And if it's something mm -hmm. like right now, where it's like, you know, we're all sleeping, you know, all doing this, uh, it will awaken everyone if like it's like a surprise attack or something like that, which is why it's referred to as Zeus, Zeus Blessing. Nice. Yeah, he's um. offering it, this to you. Wait, is he actually offering it? Yeah, he's saying, you know, I, I basically I think of it as, uh, think of it as like a, a for payment, just to, you know, something to start you off with, because I know the value of this. Kind of motions to it. This isn't the sort of thing you come by very often, so consider this a down payment. I uh, I nod. Then I'll be accepting it. Gives a little nod. Glances back at them. They're good people. Even if uh, 
sometimes I don't think you know, I'm meant to be doing stuff like this. They're, they are. And I just, you know, maybe you know, I'll see them, see them around someday, or maybe I won't, but if you ever need uh, something enchanted, gives a little wink, once I'm done with Zadim's uh, armor, I might be able to help whip you up something nice. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to make something even better next time uh, you see me. Keep that in mind. He nods, uh, looks over, and eventually you see the sun beginning to rise. Kind of picks himself up, brush himself off. I think we'll be uh, getting ready to go here in a little bit. You ready? Holds out a hand to you. It's like a very awkward <laughs> hand, like he's like holding his like, yes. <laughs> yes. This is how you make friends. <laughs> <laughs> he breathes in, but he doesn't take his hand as he gets up. <laughs> he, 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 you see like his exhale, he's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> he's just like, oh, good. I, I don't have to worry about this. Kind of like brushes his hand on his chest, just like, that. That was yeah okay. So let's go uh, this way. Yeah, mm. uh, we're up, everyone. Let's go. We're go. Yeah. He, he he's like so he's, he's helped roll. Yeah, he's 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 just as awkward as you as he's rolling up his thing. Just mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Demea stole my horse. Yes, that has happened. Uh, I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm... That bar just kind of groans when she wakes up. Uh, I'm gonna wake up causing a scene. <laughs> no, oh my what, God. what kind of a scene? What? I wake up crying. Uh -oh. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm assuming Nightbar immediately fully wakes up. You are. She's in your lap. So yes. Yeah, she's covering her face with her hands and just crying. That's all she's doing. Nightbar just oh. hugs her. Where are we taking her again? I have no idea. Where does she live? Where's her family? I. We found her in a cage underground. Surely she knows where she lives. She said that her <laughs> parents' guards led her there. Out of character, Don, I forgot where the fuck she's. <laughs> her uh, out of character, I forgot to mention Taru. Just to make sure you know, you now also have a a dwarven. War. Oh, so you did give that to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, hold on, I will whisper that to you real quick. I'm not having to write. I'm just going through all the stuff to make sure I still have it in my bag. Yeah, I'm gonna have to properly um, go through. Also, if I did make a Spartacus sheet available to everyone, so if you want to take like all that weapons and armor and just put it on Spartacus, Spartacus can carry it. Oh, that works. Cool. Oh, cool. I, I kind of Makes figured you guys would think about that, but you know, not hearing anyone bring well, it up, I figured I'd let you know. I was, no, I was I literally just... going to carry all of it that wasn't I'm loading my shit on that horse. <laughs> my mom just literally quest for man-made water. <laughs> and I think she realized that she meant bottled water. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So you guys can put that on Spartacus and uh, Ixia's just watching her just like, I don't know, does she remember where she's from? <laughs> I mean, she just woke up. Maybe she doesn't. Um, hey, Demea, hey, wait for to... uh, I need Maybe to write Spartacus. Wait for to calm down. that okay? <laughs> what? I need to write Spartacus. I, I do enchanting while I'm riding him for just just while we get to the next town. Do you mind? Can I? Yeah. What is he asking for? He, he's asking. He, want... to, he wants to ride Spartacus. He wants his horse back. He wants oh. his horse back. Or at least to ride it with you just because he uses that for his enchanting while he's on the horse. Oh, okay. You, you can ride it. Yeah, thank you. I just, you know, just I, it's how much is enchant. how much is Demeo Demeo weigh? I weigh 180 pounds. I don't even what 180. Oh, okay. I need to check something. You should be able to lift her. I believe I can't. All right, she's just gonna carry her then. Wow, I'm still. Still crying. Still crying. She's oh very emotional. Would seeing Arcus help you? Maybe. Devar's gonna whistle and call Arcus so he lands on her. Arcus just, <laughs> like, lands on her head, just like, 
leans over and looks at her upside down. Hi, little guy. And she's gonna uh, pet him. He he nuzzles into your hand. He really likes you, by the way. Does he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, bad. And she's gonna take the dragon and just give him a little peck on peck on the. Oh, please tell me he does, like, that overdramatic, falls off the head and spirals down to the ground. <laughs> he, he he does you one better. He, he like, like moves his like, dragon claws to his cheeks and then pulls his head down and covers his face with his wings. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> she's, she's gonna giggle a little bit. A real ham. Like, <laughs> like, then, like, he, like he slowly peeks from, ben from between the wings, gives a wink, and then covers himself back up. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a little charmer. <laughs> he likes to think he's a little charmer. I think he is. <laughs> I think that's all the validation he needs. Good. Good. This dragon very close to me. <laughs> he, he if you want, he can stay with up. you for a bit. Huh? If you want, you for a bit. You're okay. When I say he him? likes you, he really likes you. Really? Like kind of side eyes. You're just like, don't, 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 don't do, don't do this to me. <laughs> but at the same time, oh, yeah, like, do he, he nods. <laughs> just like he, he kind of gives a little nod. Like <laughs> he like lays on your shoulders, like dramatically, just like on your shoulder, head laying it down, just like peeks up at you, waves. <laughs> my little wave, my little finger at him. Whew! <laughs> 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 lays down on your shoulder. Thank you, Can I... Laura. Hmm? Can I teach other people languages? It would take time to do so, but I'd imagine you'd eventually be able to at least, you know, give them a start for it. It takes quite some time to learn a language. Naturally, because it's, yeah. If you want, and this will take a while, and you'll need to make sure to keep practicing, I can teach you what he says. <gasps> really? Yeah. You know, I both speak it. Uh, you hear oh. him say in Sylvan, you would. You're damn right I would. What was he saying now? He said I would. Like I wouldn't help you learn how to speak his language. Oh. I I love to learn. <laughs> we'll get started once we get once we set up camp next, alright? Okay. I just imagine that this is all done while she's piggybacking. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh Ixius gets on Spartacus. Spartacus just gonna... <laughs> Shakes, kind of gets like kind of glance over, just like. Hmm. Um, eventually, you guys will begin making your way through the woods uh, without the dangers of the zombies that you saw before. It's definitely a lot more peaceful to just kind of walk through and eventually you make yourselves or make your way rather all the way up to uh it's a little another little town in halo uh, more of a little outset type place just like uh the one you were at before uh, that they refer to as green meadows uh it's very peaceful. It's just as it says. It's you coming out of the forest, and there's just rolling green hills for miles. Uh, lots of room for horses, as you see a lot of horseback riding just going off in the distance as people are uh, running around with either herds of cattle, sheep, horses. This is a place where this is just prime pasture. This land. is farmland. This is farmland, yes. Which This is uh, absolute farm. This is absolute <laughs> farmland, yes. Uh, which just looking this place over, yeah, this is this is pretty cool. Uh, which you guys make your way into town, which I believe that someone was saying they wanted to see if there was a library. Me? Yep. Uh, roll an investigation or a persuasion check. Uh, can I get persuasion <laughs> for five hundred, Alex? That that's why I said you could do either or. <laughs> It's not that hard. Uh, tra some of the people are like, I mean, travelers, you know, they'll come and see about like places like the bookshop down that way. They kind of motion, and it's pretty easy to see. It's uh, they're actually pointing you towards the general store. 
I mean, mm-hmm. this, this place doesn't have a big library per se. Uh, if you want to go to the big library, you need to go up further north. If you keep keep along the Class High path, keep heading up northward, uh, you'll eventually come to. Um, uh, you need to come to Stone Barrows. So actually, uh, has a little place that actually comes down right next to the ravine where uh, the Class High kind of grind up against every now and then. Uh, makes uh, not not not, not nice place enough uh, for you know having the earth shake every time it does that, but that's only like once a year anyway. How much further north? I'd say about 30, 50 miles. Easy How enough if you're on horseback, but if you're walking, probably take about a day or two. Oh, okay. That's not that bad. We'll stay here, however, for the day so we can recharge. If that's alright with you oh, guys, yeah. anyway. Please, by all means. If you're going to be you know, using our inn and whatnot, we got the, the daisy chain down the way. Uh, my wife actually... Uh, is the one who runs the establishment. Uh, I, I just bring in the revenue by working with some of the some of the livestock out there. So you know, you know hey, by all means, still a decent way to live. Oh yeah, so you keep you got smacks just keeps me hearty, keeps me <laughs> keeps me honest too. I mean, I'm sure your wife has a bit to do with that. Uh, she's hearty enough to she, run it in. She's hard <laughs> enough to run it in. She don't keep me honest. She lets me go gambling at her place, but then again, she also gets part of the revenue, so it's like, hey, if I lose anything, I'm going to give part of it to her anyway, so <laughs> shame on me, you know? Best way to gamble, having an insurance policy. Relationship goals. <laughs> right. <laughs> you guys, she's looking back at, like, Sadim and... Beardrick! I don't know why I keep going to call him fucking anything else other than that. <laughs> you called okay. David at one point. David! <laughs> I don't know why I called him David! I really don't! <laughs> okay. I still don't know what his name is. It's cool. <laughs> no one knows his Look, name. I'm his creator. <laughs> you guys don't mind if we stay in the inn for tonight, do you? Mm, works for me. And it sounds cozy. Beardrick just nods. <laughs> Alright. In silent type it is, I guess we're staying. Uh, Nixius <laughs> kind of motions to, um, to Zadim. Hey, uh, can I see your armor? Uh, out of character, I would have given him the armor. Oh, yeah, good. Then well, I just well, wanted to make sure he had it. He's like, hey, uh, I'm going to actually stay at the end for a little bit. If I focus all my time on actually making this armor, I'll probably be able to get it done faster. That way, you know, this is a little this is a little hamlet, little place. Like, you can uh, just kind of swing on back through. That way, you guys can keep going on without me, you know. Waiting on and making this, and blah, blah, blah. You, you get what I'm saying. Hmm. Makes sense. Just, uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm going to be just, you know, sticking around here. This place is, you know, pretty, pretty open, pretty, you know, out of the way. Give me a chance to, you know, breathe and actually make the stuff. And who knows? Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll catch up with you guys, or who knows? Maybe I'll just get stuck here and make more magic items for you guys. And when you come back, I'll just have a whole slew of stuff for you guys to play with. <laughs> Uh, immediately when he says that, Demea turns her head and goes, You're leaving? No, more I'm staying. You guys will be the ones leaving. He's got his own business to attend to, sweetie. Oh, okay. We'll be able to see you again? I am not planning on leaving this place. And if I'm not here, then I'm going to have gone back home to Commundum to, you know, see my dad and whatnot. In which case, we know the exact way back. Yep. <gasps> okay, I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be, you know, that far. He kind of scratches his neck awkwardly. Do you want to give him a hug? Yeah. She's gonna set him down. <laughs> I'm gonna run over. Down. He 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 like like freezes up a little bit, but he he lets her, and he just kind of looks over at everyone else, just like help me. Nope. <laughs> but uh, yeah, of course. Navar's shaking your head like nope. <laughs> he 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 seems to just kind of exhale slowly, just like. Brrr. He kind of slowly reaches up a hand, just kind of pats her head, just pat pat, looks down her, just like. She's still touching me. She's still, she's still doing it. <laughs> she's still touching me. All right, Devea, come on. We got to go to the general store real quick. Oh, okay. She waves and then walks back to Navarro's side. He gives a, like a little half wave, just like, okay, I'm just... An awkward da- man. Daisy chain? Daisy chain. It's kind of <laughs> clang, clang. He walks over with the armor, with a bag of armor on his back. Do you want some sweets? You talking to me? Yep. <laughs> Sweets? Oh my goodness, it's been so long since I've had something like that. You know what they fed me in the cage? I'm going to guess it was something nasty. Half the time it was nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Gavar's just gonna grab on her shoulders. Well, we'll make sure to feed you 
for all the stuff that they for all the stuff that they miss. Alright. Thank you! And she's gonna hug Laura. She'll walk her back and then walk towards the general store. If you guys want to come along, feel free to. Oh, I'll follow along. Okay. I want to say out of care, Naivara is a mom. Yes, she is. She's absolute <laughs> mom. Absolute. She's absolute mom unit. Mom unit. Demaya is her child. You cannot. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Demea has become her child. Prove me wrong. Adopt! Adopt! <laughs> right? adopt. adopt! Adopt! You're holding her. You're just adopt! I, I have pressed the adopt button, and she has now uh, been uh, the adopted. I've only known Demea for two days. But if anything <laughs> happened to her, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. Love, <laughs> uh, true love. <laughs> Uh, so you you head into the general store and uh, you see this guy uh, behind the place. He's uh he's dressed in you know simple uh, leather uh, leather uh, vest with a a shirt on. He just kind of is nodding to himself. I would hope he's got a shirt on. Uh, he, I was saying he's got a vest with a he colored shirt. He rips it off and shows off his media. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he is he is the opposite of that. He is lanky uh, with a bit of. <laughs> He rips his shirt off with a little bit of struggle and shows off that nice slick stomach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got a, a one of those like old time kind of that newsies looking hat uh, with kind of greasy hair with a, a little bit of an overbite to him as he. Oh, there's customers. Uh, hello, everybody. How you doing there? Uh, uh, he leans forward like he kind of stumbles like he, le he was leaning back in chairs like oh, uh, puts his Don't hands together. Fall. I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't worry about it. How you doing? Uh, we're doing good. Currently, we are looking for, well, sweets for her. Sweets? I, I think we got some sweets back in there. In the back. Hold on. I'll, I'll look at really. He's just, like, he picks himself up. Just, oh, oh, like, he's like a fully animated cartoon character. Lanky arms just going in every, <laughs> every which way. So he's just like, oh, I got a legs, like, coming up to his chest as he walks. Just, goes out of character, I have a green apple candy cane right now. Are you exaggerating, or is he, like, legit walking? That's, I, that I is legit how he was walking. That's just, amazing. Just, like he's just like 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 almost like he's, he's trying so to run. Valid. Like he's like trying to run on his tiptoes the entire time as well. So he's just he's just a weird. He's just a mess of a man. But he's just like oh, I got the story. I, I love him. <laughs> uh, you hear some rummaging. You hear something like falling. He's like hup, 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 hup. you just see like you just see his form just like leaning back because he's got a big old jar of pickles. Just like I got it. No worries. No, no worries. <laughs> he leans forward. Pickles. Pickles, yeah, he's got a big old jar of pickles. And then he, you hear him, ha ha! You, you see him, ha ha ha! Are those sweets? Ah, no, th those are pickles! You want these! And he pulls out a, a box that he sets on the, t on the th table. He pulls out a, a tiny little bag that he sets next to it. Oh, take a pick. Um, there's some caramel, which we've managed to get from the winter season because we're getting into spring. You had to caramelize them. Uh, we also have some, um, some of these are there's some, uh, some islands that give us something called sugar cane, which is really, 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 really sweet, and it's got some really good stuff to it. Um, there's also, we, we have some apple slices that we dipped into the caramel, which apparently is really good. Unfortunately, we don't have any fresh, so we don't have any at all. Actually, I ate them all. I'm sorry. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we've got these, there are these little um, candy they're uh, twisted that they've got these colors to them. There's, these ones are white and red. These ones are red and blue. These ones are black but and white. I know white. what those are. Um, roll an intelligence check. They sound like candy canes. While, uh, while they are candy saying canes. all this, Demea is like drooling with wide eyes. <laughs> and she looks up at him and goes, how much for all of it? All of them? <laughs> oh, they're kind of a delicacy around here. Uh, if you're getting the whole box, I'd say there's like 20 gold. Oh, Jesus! I'll take it. You have twenty gold. You have twenty gold. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna build a whole new roof. Where'd you get gold? I have it in my pocket. As she's taking out the twenty gold. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get the gold? It's in my pocket, silly. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like, he's like blinking. Like he's like doing the whole like the out like the. Uh, what would the be the cartoon a blink? Ding ding. Uh, can I tip yes. him one gold? You, you can tip him one gold extra. All right, I will. So uh, I have four. Oh, four. <laughs> he, he's he's doing the um, straight on realistic uh, bird face, whereas like the the eagle looking at a camera, like the white eyes just what? 
Hey, it's so nice. Here. here, take an extra. I, I couldn't possibly. I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're ask, if you're offering it to me, I'll say yes. But at the same time, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. She's offering. Trust no, me, she's just no that worries. nice. Don't worry. She's gonna clasp his hands over it. He slowly looks down at your hands. Slowly looks back at you. I hope that you live long and prosper for all of your days. I swear. Oh, he's so sweet! He's gonna go him into a hug. He, 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 like, like, you just see his like arms immediately go shooting up to the side. He just like looks at her at Neymar, just like, "Am I allowed? Can I do this? This, this feels go wrong." She's like slowly, just like pet, 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 gives a hug She's back. Very She's like, he like gives a hug back. He like tightens very slowly, just like, "Yes, I'm gonna be able to buy a new roof. Yay! Maybe I'll be able to get some stock. Maybe I'll be able to get more. <gasps> if you ever come back in town, we'll give a special sash just for you." <laughs> he, she's gonna uh, take the giant box of candy that uh, he, I, need, I need the box I need the box hold on hold on he like, he, like grabs the box like, hold on hold on he he's like, oh, hold on he like you just see him like slide down he you see hear him ruffling he pulls out a much bigger bag uh one that uh will probably be able to house <clears> all this candy as he turns it to the side and yes with the natural 20 he has uh caramel drops as well as candy canes wow uh, as he also does appear to have a few, um, few I love that as well. I love that she nat 20 on knowledge about candy. That just shows the kind of person Nybar <laughs> is. Mm -hmm. Nybar <laughs> licking her lips. Uh, can Demaya. I look around? To see? Oh. Yes? You don't mind if I have one of these, do you? And she's gonna grab, like, a sucker. No, not at all. I plan to share it with everyone. Aww. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> Uh, Actually, can... sir, would you like one? As he, oh, she takes oh, out I'm, I'm <laughs> off. I'm off. To like, the I, person who sold it to him. Uh, like, what are you offering him? A sucker, candy cane, caramel? I'll uh, give him uh, whatever. I reach it and give it to him first. Uh, hold on a second. Just you're just reaching and just grab it as. as I'm just reaching and grabbing something, and handing. Like, just like, reaching you, in. You hand him a sucker, and you just see him like slowly taking his hand, just like he like takes off the little tiny bit of wrapping to it. He just like slowly puts his mouth. <laughs> This is the best thing I've ever tasted all day. <laughs> <sighs> like, you just see him, like, close his eyes. He's just like... <laughs> oh, they really look good. She's gonna reach in for one. Oh, yep. Lord. So you, you put it in your mouth. It is, uh... It's got a very, very fruity texture to it. Um, you actually get one that tastes like it's like it's sugar, like like lots of sugar. But it's got like a, an apple-y taste to it. It's kind of crisp, and it's like, hmm, this is different. Uh, can I ask the man while he's enjoying that sucker? Huh? Or, uh, sir. But, uh, yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm sorry about that. What's up? What's up? I got sucker in my mouth. What's up? What's up? Have any honey products or that sugar cane you were mentioning earlier? Honey? honey? Sugar cane, no. Honey on the other hand. We got honey dollops in the back corner. Uh, you can get a, uh, a jar of it, probably about a pound. Uh, I'm trying to get that for like two gold. We've only got about five jars right now. Why are you looking for honey? Did not buy the sugar cane? I like uh, we, don't, we don't have any sugar cane. <laughs> uh, most of the stuff I get is already pre-made when it's brought in. You know, you could have just asked me to look for a few beehives. You can look up beehives? <laughs> he like looks confused. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, is it, like, if he was a cartoon character, his hair would be standing on end, just like, what? I can find my own beehives very easily, but I mean... There's something would... quite, like, unprocessed, honey, dude. Oh, my dear. I am one. <laughs> <laughs> However, getting it is rather painful sometimes. No, Barge so... is just just Arcus. <laughs> Arcus just like slowly looks at her, and you, you get the sense that he's had to go hunting for the honey and has not You're gotten out unscathed. He's While not gotten Zedima's out unscathed. While Zadim is talking, can I like slowly raise a candy cane to his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Whose mouth? Yours. I am six foot eight. She, she's on her tiptoes. I don't think that's enough. Arm you outstretched. Have, no, she's jumping. No, she's him. jumping in her spot. You don't him. She's trying. Okay, I want you to keep this in mind. I did Meg and Peta's height difference. If Meg raised her hand, she could reach his mouth. So How yes, she can. She's five seven. Oh, uh, I yes. thought she was shorter. Never mind. No, no. yeah, she's like she's five eight. Five seven. She, she, no, five seven. Thank you. She she's tall enough to reach you with her arms up. <laughs> she's I will not that short. Grab the candy cane and continue saying. Uh, it's just it's exactly like a parrot. Just take the shit without even blinking. <laughs> 
based just upon slides the it out. of your companion there, I am guessing that he knows all too well what I speak of. And I will go and look for those honey drops. <laughs> he has scales! He can't get stung as easy! Uh, honey drops it is does in not a... mean it is impossible, uh, and honey... I do not scales. Honey drops is in candy or like actual jars of honey? Because Lady pointed you to us to actual jars of honey. So what's the difference? Because I don't think he mentioned Honey drops are like cough drops, then there's actual honey. Yes. Price-wise. Uh, Price-wise, honey drops, uh, well, since you don't have any frame of reference, he said that the for a jar of honey, it is two gold. You don't know and how much a honey drop a, is. How much uh, honey would I be getting? Uh, you'd a be pound. getting a pound's worth. A pound's worth for... That's a lot of honey. <laughs> yeah, holy crap, I'm gonna grab that. <laughs> Get his jar! <laughs> Just fucking snatch it! <laughs> No. And he said he uh, got five it, jars, so... Yeah, this is a place that uh, uh, has, probably has access to uh, enough quantities of honey to make that uh, still a profit, but... Yeah, I'll pay him uh, four gold for two jars. Thank you very much, Ario. I kind of, like, as, as you pay him the money, he, like, puts a hand on your hand, on your hand and kind of glances over. Please take care of the little angel. She, of course. She, she's, she's just... She's just, 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 just... She made my day. We will make I have sure one last goes. question yes. of what do you sell. Do you sell books? Um, what kind are you looking for? <laughs> oh, you're looking for those kind of books. We don't have those books, sadly. I keep asking for them to send us more, but they just, they're just they just being, you know, they're holding out on us, really. What Plus, kind of books are you talking about? Uh, the kind of books that require you to be paid to write them. And unfortunately, I don't think enough people are being paid. I mean, romance novels. The bad ones. <laughs> oh, oh, I want one. <laughs> no, you do not. We have the other kind of romance novels if you're interested. What other? What the good, other the good kind. He looks at Navarra, like just like the good kind. All right. Oh, just... what does that mean? <laughs> Trash yeah. romance versus good romance. <laughs> oh, what's the good kind of romance? Uh, uh, when he says good kind, kind, he's referring to not trashy, as in it's like, you know, love stories that are actually like, you know, actual okay, love so stories. Okay, so it's not actual porn, Max, we go. Yes, yes. I ain't looking for porn! Nah, she's looking for trashy romance <laughs> novels. I mean, which it evolves into porn, but Generally. there is story. <laughs> yes, but he's <laughs> talking about, he's, <laughs> he, he, he's talking about just romance novels, ones she's... with just plot and romance. I mean, there's still good romance novels with smut in it. Oh, yeah. Um, really quick, I just want to ask the gentleman. You wouldn't happen to know of anyone down who purchases books, do you? Perhaps. Purchase? No, not in this hand. I mean, I, I, I purchase books for, you know, but that's for travelers coming through. I don't, I don't, uh, if you're going to sell going books, to you're going to go to the next city over. Uh, that's why I wouldn't get asked the name. I figured that a historian would rather want these than a general store. No offense, sir. No, not yeah, taken. You never know. This I'll is true. They could be a collector. Yeah, no, no one uh, in the city gonna, really know like that. She's gonna head to the book to the book section. Mm -hmm. What um, do I see, Don? You see, a, a, it's a very, very limited number of books. This isn't a very big town, uh, but it does have a few books. Um, one of them is called uh, the Phoenix. One of them is called. Uh, the man in the manticore. Uh, one of them that is... already fills me with trepidation. <laughs> uh, Very pointy. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear that from across the street. Very pointy. <laughs> uh, and one of them is called uh, the the white rose. Do they have summaries on the back, or would I just have to just buy them and read them? No summary. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab all three. <laughs> okay. Um, let me just pull this up here because there is Don't actually a player's handbook. Me. This is romance novels. They're not trashy. Uh, Sadie Murray bought the honey, right? Yes. He right, bought eight jar. To... Oh yeah, I'm currently crunching through the candy cane. Like I'm not sucking on it. I'm literally biting. You're literally biting. Jesus Christ! Oh my gosh. She's savage. Yes. 25 gold per book. What? Ooh, <laughs> how bad is one? Oh, oh god, what? Oh, how bad is it? What <laughs> book is 25 gold? Each book. What book is 25 gold? Each book. All of them. No, I, that's not, no, 
no, it's not me asking like which one. I'm oh, asking, freaking like, out. <laughs> I'm asking in what circumstance is this much of they a need book? The money to build that goddamn roof. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the books in that's that's the player's handbook. Player's handbook states player's that a book is twenty five gold. <laughs> No, it's just the fact that they don't have the printing press. Oh! They didn't consider that. Okay. So each oh of those books God. is handwritten. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, that oh, makes sense. Boy. Fucking oh. hell. Oh. <laughs> what are the titles? You know what? I'm just going to get the Man of the Manticore. What hell could this be? Let's do this. Okay. Actually, wait. What was the third book title? Uh, the White Rose. Mm. I mean, I guess you could skim through it to see if you find yeah, anything. Yeah, can I do that? that? Like that. Okay. Uh, roll an intelligence check three times. Uh, no, 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 okay. no, wisdom check. Wisdom check, because this would be essentially... No, perception, perception. I took it! Die! Do something. I have, no. I'm choosing... I'm, I'm making sure. Uh, wow! You you are intent. You're just like, wait, hold on. These are 25 gold pieces. I gotta, I gotta actually meal. <laughs> gotta make sure. Gotta make sure. Um... The phoenix, uh, just from glancing through very quickly, just like uh, appears to be uh, about a uh, a woman's travel to speak with the phoenix, trying to uh, find out the secret of either eternal life or happiness, something along those lines. You're not sure exactly what it is. Uh, meeting along the way, a few uh, different companions who help her. Uh, you're guessing it's like a struggle against nature and stuff like that. It looks looks like it's a decent read. Uh, it's the man... a horror book. <laughs> 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 uh, the man, the manticore, uh, refers to a man who gets uh, trapped in a cave with an injured manticore and uh, goes over, you know, them surviving and uh, little details about how, you know. Does at he first... fall in love with the manticore? Right, because I'm looking for Robus, so this should be interesting. <laughs> uh, possibly. Uh, you you don't flip all the way through, but just from just from the glancing no, at it. No, you don't want to spoil you, the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get all the way through, but you, you read enough to know that, you know, uh, at the very least there's a friendship between them. Uh, and you you, mention, you notice at one point that the man mentions, you know, uh, that th this is a journey not only for him to, um, you know, that he was on a journey, he was looking to... Uh, to find someone, it seems like this one's kind of like a got a murder mystery vibe to it as well. Ooh. Ooh. You're not sure exactly what it is, but you're like, it's it's definitely interesting. Uh, the White Rose is about a uh, a woman who has been uh, seeking to basically enlist in uh, a battalion and of her commander, uh, a woman who is uh, well known and well respected, and have her. Uh, her actions get her both noticed and kind of hated because of the fact that while she does good uh, to do so, she's not exactly following the rules as by the book. And them basically having to juggle one of them going, hey, this is by the book, and the other one going, hey, this is following my heart. Get romance! White rose! Oh. That's good. <laughs> she's gonna put the book down along with 25 gold. <laughs> Thank you. I, 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 I've heard good things about it. I've uh, kind of like looks around. I've, I've, I've skimmed it. It's, uh, it's worth a read. Takes the 25 gold, slides the book over to you. And you are now the proud owner of the White Rose. <laughs> oh, I didn't miss it. What? Uh, I walk over to the proprietor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see how how place. You would be the person in town to go to if you wanted to exchange something. Depends yes. on what you're exchanging. I pull out Windjaw's slab of silver. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> and I say, how much do you think I would get for these? Holy shit. Appropriate <laughs> <laughs> reaction. Right. <laughs> His eyes are like going cross-eyed as he's looking at this thing. Just like you see the lollipops like most it's mostly he's worn it down. It's like pretty much just the stick in his mouth at this point. It almost falls out of his mouth as you just like mouth slightly agape, just Ah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, I would not be the person for that. That's um that oh, holy shit. <laughs> 
I think maybe we should wait until we get to a bigger city so we can have more. Next city over might actually have some stuff that might be uh, more more helpful, but holy sh- I've never seen that much silver in one place at one time. Mm, neither have I. You just effectively <laughs> gave me 50 gold. That could probably make you do a half a slab of gold bar. Half a slab? Possibly. I, I, just, I don't know the value of silver in that amount. Hell, I don't even know what that stamp is on there. That's... It's old. Very. I can tell that. Hold Super on. duper old. <laughs> I believe you. It's just... Holy shit. That's a lot of silver. He just shakes his head just like... I, I, I'd say the next city over would be your best bet. Thank you. I appreciate it. He's a little nod. He's a little can I happy. try to? Hmm? Can I try to sneak in a little dip of my candy in the honey, like sneak it into my honey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the honey is in my bag. Shit! <laughs> I like, I like the effect of home. Oh, don't do All it. Right. In that case, <laughs> yes. In that case, uh, Deme is gonna. Is he wearing a shirt? Do, do I like tug on his sleeve? Do I tug on armor? Like, what do I tug on? My, I just tug on For his Zidane? skin. What do I tug? <laughs> uh, Zadim's wearing a shirt, I'd imagine. I'm pretty sure he's wearing a shirt under his arm. Alright, I tug or on over. whatever the fuck I can tug on, alright? Even if it's skin, I'm tugging on his flesh. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, it's okay if I dip this can in the honey. <laughs> she is blinking nice and innocently. <laughs> All right. I like. Hold on. Is this out of character? Is this the end you've been eating, or is it the end you haven't started eating yet? This is a completely new candy cane. Oh. <laughs> yes. All right. This is fine. He was just wanting to make sure that you weren't, you know, <laughs> right? Trans 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 I was just eating a little uh... lollipop. Sucky thing, yeah. A little sucky thing. One of those slurpy things, you know. Yeah, <laughs> a sucker. <laughs> yes. But yeah, I'll, I'll get out a jar, honey, and I'll let her dip the candy cane in there and see what happens. Thank you. And she's going to do it. And then she's going to plow another one. You're like, you want another? Oh, yeah, because I just chewed through the other one. Right. Yes. She just fucking ripped through that shit. You're just munching crunch. Speaking of which, did Nivara notice you doing but that? I probably would have noticed. Probably. It was very loud. It was just so so Navarro's just looking at you. So, you heard you're supposed to suck, not bite, right? So, I'll take the candy cane, and I'll dip it into my honey, mm -hmm. and then I'll very, like, carefully, you know how they do that thing where you wind it around so it doesn't, like, drip anywhere? Yes. I will look directly into her eyes and bite into it again. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, snap it right in half and chew on it. <laughs> and I will mumble to right her. My eyes as you do that? No, not in Demea's eyes, in Ivara's eyes. Oh, okay. Just because of what that, she said. I will mumble. Huh. I've never heard that before. Well, you've heard it now. What the hell? Huh. It, it not preserves sound as fun. flavor. And she's gonna do it, take the candy cane, dip it in, and then suck on the candy cane. Yeah. Tastes pretty good. I was staring at Zadim like, what the fuck? Like, Try it again. She reaches for another candy. You know, how it's like that blank stare of what the hell. <laughs> I have one eyebrow up, like half lidded eyes, like what are you going to? Huh? Are you going to say something? I'm going to keep eating my candy again. <laughs> Why are you eating like that? <laughs> She's because so bothered by this. I can. <laughs> I'm gonna hand him another candy cane and be like, try, try sucking on this one this time. Dips it in the honey and hands it, it to him. It's, it's, As he's still, still eating his he, other candy cane. Oh no, no I'm, I'm done at this point. Like, I've, it, it, I've it already enhances eaten. flavor, believe me, please. Uh, I, which, I, I imagine try. he prevented you from the honey. I will try okay. briefly to suck on the candy cane. Okay. Definitely a little weird. Your uh, cheeks mm -hmm. get a little bit dry as you do so, but it's Why is he not accustomed to this? This is just how I eat things. Um, he just has to crunch, you know. Uh, Zadim, uh, you yes, you're used to more of things like rock candy, which you're supposed yeah. to munch and crunch on. Uh, the suckers, this is new. <laughs> this is very. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
All right, I can see the appeal of this. <laughs> Said with like the most like. Damn it, they're right. God damn it. <laughs> right. I, I, I suppose if you really have to put oh it that God, way. Oh my God, it's the, it's the fucking meme. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Crossing <laughs> like, I, I guess. Uh, gonna go. If if you want any more, I have a whole whole bag of candy now. You're free to take any. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> Do you mind if I have a caramel more, drop? Uh, oh. Yeah, of course. Here, I think I'll take uh, and, and, if, and if you ever need more, just uh, feel free to swing on by. We'll, we'll help you right out here if uh, we got any in stock. Maybe we'll have How did the proprietor take me just absolutely destroying his candy canes? Right, it's, <laughs> he, that's... He, like he, he like when when uh, Naivara says that he kind of shrugs like I'm gonna screw. Oh, what? God! When when she's like he, uh, sip not what? Can you hear me? There we go. Now yeah. I can. Okay, uh, he did. I mean, it's true. That that's literally all. He, like he's like you crunch it. He just like watch you just like. I mean, if you're gonna eat like that, I mean that's I ain't, I ain't gonna judge from out of town. Maybe that's how you do things <laughs> over where you're from. I mean, it look is. at you. You've got I'm that good. dark skin. I, maybe you're, are you from the south? Uh, I found no, a character. No, that's the worst sentence ever. <laughs> Get uh, out of context. Out of character. <laughs> yeah. Uh, geographically, I forget where we came from. You are from the south. Yes. Uh, yes Wait, yes. so where the fuck am I from? You are from the east, uh, which is in Cremundum to the east. Eventually, you guys will find a place that actually sells a map. <laughs> a map of the world, which currently you do not have. Very <laughs> useful. Uh, essentially, uh, you are to... All right, let, me, let me put it this way. Um, and put this in your notes. Mm. Uh, Paris. Fucking shit! I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> fucking bio tab. Yep. Lore people, don't worry. This is just a little bit of lore. Okay. Now what am I typing? You, Taking notes. You are to the east of the mountains where the capital of Sayas Key resides. Spell that for me. S E A Z. Okay. K E Y. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And Zadim. Yep. You are from the south and east to the north of High Watch, which is above Denziel, which is I will spell that Washington. out for you. Don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy. Not Densdel, Denziel. Did you say Densdel? Denziel. I, I know Denzel. I said. Denziel, god damn it. Yeah, Danziel. Which is to the south. Like, far to All the right. south in Cremundum. <laughs> cool beans. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head Ooh. out and find the end, okay? Uh, with this... Uh, actually, is, uh, I will ask. Uh, you can go find the end. I just gotta talk to the general goods uh, guy again. Yeah, of course. Hey, Paladin, you wanna come with? Mm. Just, just tap in your shoulder. Wait, where are you going? The yeah. end. Uh, yeah, he looks up and he's like... He nods and he's like... We need to get some food, too. Wait, 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 wait! And Maybe she if walks we feed up you, to... What? She walks up to Beardrick and hands him a candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beardrick, you are aware of what candy canes are. You've actually had a few. They're, I'll pass. They're, they're more childish foods, but... You know, they're, yeah. they're, they're delicious. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's something sweet. You know, what you aren't. <laughs> when everybody Ooh. stopped looking, I immediately crunched into the candy cane. <laughs> <laughs> One final Do we hear the crunch? Do we hear the crunch? Do we hear the crunch? You do. You've been hearing the crunches the whole time. <laughs> My Mars head just snaps to look at him. <laughs> I smile. <laughs> A charming smile. Uh, were you wanting to speak to the proprietor again? Yes. What were you wishing to ask him? Betrayal. Deception. <laughs> disgrace. Uh, would there happen to be a leather worker in town? Leather worker? Uh, I mean, yeah, of course. Uh, there's. I mean, it's not the tannery. I mean, the tannery is more to the northeast, uh, which is away from the Colossi walk. But uh, we've got a tanner. So they might be able to help you out with that. 
Okay, uh, would you be able to tell me where? Tell you what? Where I might find them. Oh, uh, they're on the edge of town. It smells something rank if you don't get it uh, contained right, so they try not to hurt anyone's nose with it. So uh, if you go to the, uh, the edge of town to the on the north side, you just gotta, when you, when you go out my shop, just head up the street and go around the edge of it until you see the building with the the, uh, the black roof. It's one of the only places where they just uh, let people know that it's got the, the hard smell to it. Hmm. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, and be careful when you walk inside. It's, uh, it smells pretty heavy. Oh, Lord. It's, it's a tannery, um, yeah. you know, it's tannery hide, and you know, you know tannery hide, it, it, it ain't exactly a delicate process, you know what I mean? Indeed. But yeah, um, you, uh, have, you have a nice day. You as well. Uh, oh, out of character, oh, yes. really what? quick, I yeah. forgot. Um, I wanted to give the Cloak of Elven kind to somebody. Give me my fucking ring! Or ring. Give me a fucking headband! That's what I gave it to you for! Uh, the crown? Yes. <laughs> what crown? I don't have a crown. Uh-huh! 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 No, like, this legitimately, I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> it's Bright Eyes! Oh, that's that's a little headband, and, uh, you would have to talk to Bright Eyes about that. Right? It's Bright See, Eyes. Not you wouldn't have to talk then, dude! <laughs> Yeah, so I'm gonna give it to somebody else. Like, I figure uh, Taru could probably use it because she's not very stealthy. I have yeah. the cloak. <laughs> but I don't think Virdrick would care to have it. He's not <laughs> trying to be stealthy. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Mm, I can have it if she wants. It's very white and uh, sparkly. White and sparkly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is that and you I'll, set me up? <laughs> Do you go mean by aesthetic? See the tanner. <laughs> okay. Navarra's reading while she walks with Beard Okay. So, tell me can about I yourself, follow, Paladin. Can I follow the Deem? You can. I mean, unless he right, says no. <laughs> I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow without asking. <laughs> okay. Um, is there anything you wanted to know? Well, I mean, my first thought would be, why are you down below in a place of rotting corpses with no warning whatsoever? But, you know, <laughs> feel free to tell me whatever. I was hired. Hired to do what exactly? Get rid of zombies? Just to clear it out. So someone knew about this place and how it was overrun. He nods. <laughs> Did they tell you about Windjar, or just that there were rotting corpses there? I'm a character. I was just told that to clear it out, right? I don't remember. <clears throat> yes. You yeah. are literally a merc with like no information whatsoever. <laughs> no, no, you, you, you did have information, uh, which the city that he mentioned that has the library, uh, that is where he is from. Where Beardrick oh, or the employer is from? The, the employer. employer. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess he'll explain that then. Uh, he explains that I wasn't given any details. My employer just told me to go check it out. Uh, of course. Though I'm sure we'll have more questions for him when we see him. Always the expendable one, and never the one given info. Isn't that how it always works? <laughs> well, other than me asking about your job, I'm saying... <laughs> this is so weird, but fuck it, I'll phrase it this way. Give me personal information. Hey, <laughs> personal? Great. Anything. <laughs> Other than the fact that you're a gnome, I know nothing about someone who actually saved our asses. Did you need this info for some reason? No, I'm just trying to get to know you since you're stuck with us for a while. Arcus doesn't sleep. Marcus in other words, waves. I'm going to look. In other words, I've been using Arcus as a spy. <laughs> also, um, Arcus is not on your shoulder. No, I'm assuming he's with the map. He is with the map. <laughs> yes, as usual. <laughs> um, he just kind of glances at you. I'm like, if there's anything you need to know, ask. I did. But other <laughs> but if anything else 
I'll let you know if you need to know anything. Okay, in that case, I need to know more about you to make sure you don't stab me in the back. How about that? I won't stab you in the back. She's raised her eyebrow like, <laughs> that I'm just supposed to take <laughs> your word for this. <laughs> if I stabbed you, it would be from the front. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> All I can think is, oh my god, that was a Mass Effect live, wasn't it, Taru? Was it? I don't know. Grunt! I'd never stab you in the back, Shepard. Words like you and me, straight to the face. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's how beer drinks like. <laughs> that's beautiful. <laughs> and unless you have something else you wish to ask her, I think that's actually a perfect place to end the session on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Uh, up to you guys. He's That's... not much of a talker. No. <laughs> it's fine with me. <laughs> oh, Unless, uh, Zadim had anything to say to Demea, she's- I mean, she's probably gonna talk, but nothing- She's talking his ear off! Exactly. <laughs> Actually, she might say important stuff about herself, but other than that- we, we, Which we can leave for next week. You know, can yeah. we leave, leave the viewers in suspense? <laughs> suspense. You know, just as usual. I'm so glad he's admitted that he would just stab you straight in the fucking face. <laughs> That's how you know you can trust him! Of yeah. course! Like <laughs> shit, he's like, if I were to kill you, you'd know. <laughs> I, I ain't about to stab you in the back. Hell nah. No, I'm hard right now sitting here yeah. like, now I'm gonna have to worry about him trying to shank me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I'm gonna get nah, shanked. he's not gonna do that in your sleep either. If he does any of this, it's, he's gonna make sure you know. It's he's okay. he's gonna throw, he's going to throw <laughs> you a weapon and be like, fight me. <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to know it's coming. <laughs> yep, don't worry. He'll be okay. <laughs> You'll know it's coming. <laughs> she's just sit I can only imagine that she's trying her best to remain calm, because, um, <laughs> Warlock... Yeah, yeah, With a I know. paladin not five feet from her. <laughs> You're very right. <laughs> <laughs> That's OOC knowledge, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he stated that she's a warlock. Yeah? He knows! Yeah, it's not pretty Her sweating, him grinning and walking away. Or not even right. grinning. Him, him just in <laughs> inwardly rolling his eyes, just like, warlocks. <laughs> they are all so emotional. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he still wants to drop off um, the child of the group. Yeah, the child. Yep, that is priority right the now. The child too. who is now in Ivar's. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she, needs to, she needs to go home, wherever that is. Yep. Who is this crying lost child? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but, uh, cool. Yeah. So if, uh, a little bit more of a calm session this time around but that's perfectly fine i mean i don't think it's anyone's really uh fine. anyone's yeah. really upset you can't be freaking out every it. session of course that's that's half the fun you know having those moments to just kind of be like yeah just you know this is this is nice that's nice fun you know? oh by the way i meant to ask where the fuck is ebrin during all of this <laughs> ebrin he's he's falling behind uh he's falling behind uh vidrick and Naivara, because he heard, in! Okay, I'll stay with the people going to the inn. <laughs> he basically was just like, uh, you guys were like, we're gonna go get candy, and he's just like, nods, a and he's just like, okay, I'll stay outside with the horse. Good horse. Good <laughs> horse. <laughs> Can I offer him candy before we split? He needs yes. to I mean, I would just gesture everyone to follow us if he's just standing there. <laughs> yeah, he, he's following you. He's going to the he's going to the inn with you guys. Unless he wants to go with his damsel. He's going with you guys. <laughs> he, he's he's like you know, you're gonna call her damsel. I'm just gonna, she, she's not she's not in distress. I'm going over. I mean, no, but you're smitten. I am not. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're <fine>. not. Oh <laughs> uh, yes. Everett 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 has a crush. Argus <laughs> has a crush. Somehow she's romanced my dragon. I don't even even know how this happened. Wait, here we go. She's gonna get a harem. Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. I would like to know how you managed to romance my dragon. There. Are, I, I I don't know. She questions. just pet him and was like, "Oh, hey, cutie!" And it was literally. You didn't even touch him. You didn't even touch him. The literally, first time we met and went into the fucking no, cage. I did. 
The first line, he popped his head and saw you and ha, for once the dragon saves the princess. That was the line that made not go. Are you I'm serious? Just... <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And him, I just think, oh, cute little dragon that really likes me. Which is exactly why she is starting to teach her Sylvan. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That is why fucking Arcus is looking at her like, backstab, betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the meantime, though, thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, if you guys are wanting to watch the streams, we stream every Wednesday. Uh, we start the uh, stream around 4, we start the recording around 4.30, so there's a half an hour of just us talking, having a good time, saying lots of funny, weird stuff, because, you know, as you can tell from our D&D games, we're weird people and proud of it. Um, we also have games that are on Thursday. Uh, they start at 4.30, but again, the stream starts at 4 o'clock. And we're also going to be having a second session on Thursday, which is going to be a weekly thing, where we continue uh, our other campaign as well. So I'm going to be posting that as soon as I get a good title card image, because just posting it with just the... The, the, it, the thumbnail it uh, being you know, the... Yeah, having an yeah. actual thumbnail actually looks better. So, you know, I... I, I, I can draw you one if you want. Please. Yeah, please, sure. please, 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 capital red, please, please, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, for everyone else who's currently in the stream, and actually for the yeah. people as well, I'm also going to be, I've also been given permission by um, my DM of our other Wednesday game to actually, you know, stream the game that he runs. He, uh, he if, is, just, if we you know, play it today, if we play today, which, you know, I'm going to keep the stream going until unless we're told otherwise. Um, <laughs> what? It's not going to hurt anyone. Um, but um, he is uh, known as Shuffle in the Thursday game. So uh, Butters is the DM of that. Talking bird. Talking bird. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, for everyone who's watching this in the future, we are likely still going with this, unless it's like, you know, around a holiday that, you know, no one can make it to, which we still need to look at Christmas. We'll discuss that Christmas later. Christmas is on Tuesday. Oh, it's, yeah, it's on Tuesday, but if everyone's available on Wednesday, we're still streaming. So, you know, <laughs> happy holidays and all that fun stuff. In the meantime, we'll see you guys next week or tomorrow. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Bye! 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 Bye. Bye.